Okay, let's hear you read it. You want to hear me read it or you want to oh, hear Carl read, read it? it? He put it in there. What the, the dad joke of I hired a handyman and gave him a lift. When I got home, only one, three, and five were done. Turns out he only does odd jobs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe it wasn't worth it for me to be recording that bit, but what kind of uh, what kind of protection does a hot dog use? Condiments. <laughs> I just heard that one too. Oh, good! I'm so glad. <laughs> Carl, you have a category tonight, so let me give you your yes, powers. I do. Oh, well, that's funny. Not. <laughs> Not? No? Wasn't funny? Oh, we can all use a little humor. Okay, uh, let me know when uh, it happens. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> Would you not steal my crap? Thank you, uh, little man. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it's Thursday already. Yep. And amazingly enough, tomorrow is Friday. Oh my gosh, I have a dentist appointment, so I better eat all the crap I can today. <laughs> Teeth cleaning tomorrow. Yeah, my body. dentist, uh, to get teeth cleaning or to get them to even look at your teeth, you have to have uh, brush your teeth before you go into the appointments. So, well, doesn't I find, everybody? I find that annoying. Unless you're going to go to, um, I mean, yeah. you're coming right from work or something. Yeah, they C admin is here. C D admin, yes. Oh, Ramiro. That's yeah. his business, one of his businesses. Yeah, I just I looked that up and I discovered that it was you. <laughs> <laughs> is that something? What would I look up? Yeah. We're in we're here. I think we're under a tornado watch or something. I don't know what's going on. A tornado watch. You're going to watch it. Yeah, we have a hurricane coming up our way right now that apparently just turned to Category 4. So, Yikes. Oh, that's serious. Yeah, but it's okay, going whatever. west. Like, the mountains about four hours from us have basically flooded, so. One second. One second. I need to share my screen for a second. Mm -hmm. Helene, are you going to show us Helene? We'll be all right. There's no... Uh... Oh, Look at this. This is Ramiro. Oh wow, he looks handsome. Look at that. Wow, what is that I hair? I took that picture. I took that picture. What is that hair? What is that background there? We are at our we're at a Halloween party with our friends back in 2018. So the shirt he is wearing is the official race shirt for the Marine Corps Marathon. They had taken a photo of everybody at the race and had blown it up on a shirt. It is the ugliest race shirt to ever exist. It was, oh, it, was signed, see it. it was signed by the, the Catherine first, Switzer. The first woman to run the Boston the marathon. marathon. He got Catherine Ooh. Switzer to sign it. She, uh, like when she was running the race, you know, because this was back when women were not allowed to run races. Oh they tried to run her up the course and that and because she registered as a she registered as initial. Kay, yeah, she registered as Kay Switzer, so they thought she was a man. And then when the mm -hmm. race director realized she was running the Boston Marathon and was a woman, they tried to pull her off the course. Lovely. Wow, yeah. how long ago was this? Last year. I think it was 60s, actually. 60s? Yeah, it was a black and white photo of her. So. How, can you imagine not being able to run because you're female? You're a woman, yeah. Because oh, they believed our uteruses would fall out. <laughs> and and the crazy thing is, is that women are better at long-distance endurance events. Like, the fastest known time to finish the um, Appalachian Trail is held by a woman. Just saying, we're tough. Switzer. Is it is this a wig or is this your was your real hair at the time? It's a wig. It's a wig, yeah. It's a wig. <laughs> I was hoping it was your real hair at the time. That no. would... It would be really awesome if it was his real hair. I've never you need, known... clean, you need to clean up that background. What is what is going on in the background of that photo? Now that other one at our friend's house. That's that's in their kitchen. Well, you can't tell that from the photo. Come on now. Mm -hmm. 
Do you want me to fix the photo for you? So I have five kids and live in a giant house. Not right. alone, um, right? That's Amy and Joey. Yeah, it's, it's just they just had a, a messy house at the time. They always have a messy house. But the photo needs to have that taken out. It's too busy. Yeah, but so I didn't. That photo. other one looks really good. Uh -huh. I didn't like make it. All, a, like... I picked out that shirt, I think. Yeah. That looks yeah, very no. nice. Stacy, Dan. Somebody you could trust. Doesn't he look trustable? Trustable? <laughs> I don't know. Trustable. Why did you pick that but that photo as your second photo? It'll be funny. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> a, a, a co worker sent it in and submitted it. I, I didn't pick it. So you, you How did don't... your co worker find it? Uh, I think he asked Faith for it. <laughs> no, he did. Which co worker? Marcus. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is your company, huh? I'm looking at the photos. I went on to I went on to the I just found all these photos and there's a bunch of Romero. It's not it's not his own personal private company. This is the nonprofit he works for where they teach people coding skills. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. nice headquarters too. Yeah. I, mean... <laughs> I thought you all worked at home. Can I learn well, to code? Is it is it is it possible that I would be able to learn coding someday when I grow up to code? Is it like hard I mean, to code? Could. It's really hard to get into the job market right now. Oh, I don't want to work. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can apply, and um, I and can be taught. Am I taughtable? Teachable. I think, I think so. Yeah, I think like they. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want, you can I mean, apply. It's free. Yeah. You're an underrepresented, unre underrepresented demographic. You're oh, I am? Eight. Because I'm yeah. a white woman? Well, you're aged, yeah. So, like, <laughs> Thanks, babe. Woman. that would be how we <laughs> then we need to I mean. ask. Then we need to ask the questions. Can you teach an old dog new tricks? Mm. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> I am, I am, I don't think I need to, I, I don't know what I would do. I would. You would, could, um, you would be able to help program Stat Badger. Oh, that would be helpful that I wouldn't have to go to you guys. Yeah. Hi, Janine. Hi, Kat. Thanks for hey, taking our buddy's role tonight, Kat. Mm -hmm. You're in, you have a category. You're muted. You're that, You're right, muted Kat? Kat has Kat. a category. Kat's just working on her hair. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Did fresh you? out of the shower, can you tell? <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you took a shower because we can... We have smell right. vision activated today. Um, so, yeah, this is the little, the little things of the float off of you, the little waves. Yeah, this has been bothering me the past few few weeks. Every time I hear you talk, and I'm not looking at the screen, I think it's Peggy talking because you guys sound so similar to me. I don't know why. You think? Yeah. Peggy and Cat. Yeah. I'm gonna have to pay attention to that now. I don't. I don't hear it. Well, Ron, I have a question for I Vincent. I think I hear it, Avi, and that's the crazy thing. You have now to I'm scared. Make some inflections at the end of her words. Yeah. That's where you hear Peggy. Okay. Well, well, when Peggy gets here, we'll we'll put them both on. Uh, okay. Right. We'll have to both say the same thing. And oh, we'll turn off your screen. We'll, we'll just do this, and it's like, okay, which one said so it? Peggy's coming to PsyCon, right? She's retired now. No, she's not coming, but we should try to talk her into it. I mean, she's retired. Like, the cat's out of the bag. I yep. saw. Yes. Yeah. And it's not a long flight. Remember, she doesn't do flights for a long time anymore. So what's your question, Kat? Quick. My question is, when does a joke become a dad joke? When Vincent tells it. Oh. Um, so what is the definition of a dad joke? Is a dad oh. joke is a pun. Yeah. A dad joke is when you groan at the punchline. It's yeah, when it becomes apparent. Yes, damn it. And I knew the joke. answer. That's a dad joke. I knew the answer to that and I just forgot it. So I'm learning all these new dad jokes and everything from the internet, but it goes in one ear and out the other. So I just I can't like when you're talking to your teenagers. Yeah, I can't <laughs> retain the jokes i wish i could i can't the, either vincent i'm i'm totally up, um, i know one at a time and that's probably about it yeah. the ones that i tell on here are the ones that i've 
kept in my memory and ran it over and over and over again in my head. I can tell it was when I over tell and it, over and over. <laughs> then when I tell it, then I forget it. And then it's gone. Well, we recorded oh. a couple, so we got we've got a few. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But it's okay now. We're we're cool. Hi, Jim. Yeah. Oh. Kat, are you wearing a sweater with pumpkins and black cats on them? I am. The and I'm wearing a shirt. $16.92. They missed one. That's like the American <laughs> That's a good one. Is that from Hi, uh, the pumpkin I, guy? The, what was his name? David Pumpkins? Or? Oh, God. David S. Pumpkins. Yes. Oh, yeah. God. S. Pumpkins. It's just a nice autumnal sweater because my hair is sopping wet. So, mm. you know. Did you get a hold of a um, Did you get a hold of um, Kenyano? <laughs> Not yet. I'm working on it. Well, because he needs to know. Tell everybody what's going on with Keanu. Well, Avi told us all last week that. Oh, was it Avi that was the gossip? Well, he asked if it was true, and I'm like, yeah, it's true. Um, I'm I'm yeah, appalled. He's, he's going to be on season two of Ancient Archaeology, which I had never heard of the show before. Oh yeah. But I only hope that he's adding a little bit of sanity to it i don't know i don't i don't want to be brave enough to watch yeah my guess is he probably this is probably just a job and he hasn't doesn't really oh it's like that. he needs the work he doesn't need the money <laughs> come on now you can say no right they okay. Don't. I gotta... okay okay so ancient archaeology is it is one of these shows that produces but puts a lot of pseudo archaeology it's almost all pseudo archaeology, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's Pat, really did, sad. did you read the uh, Did you read the person who I posted this on my Facebook page? And then there's a person who's attacking Keanu. Did you read all that? I did not. What? Mm. Which face? Oh, Cat's gonna have mm. something to do with that. <laughs> Rob Palmer or the well-known skeptic? I would be surprised if Keanu is a true believer. The guy isn't wholesome. He's calculated, robotic, and I'm not just talking about his god awful acting. You're gonna really have to respond to that. Oh, oh, honey, I will, I will find that post and I will oh, reply to that funny. post. She's all over it already. Look at her. She's like, oh, oh look at Rob Palmer's got all sorts of. Yeah, just at me at it, or I'll just I'll, yeah. I'll stalk your page. I'll find it. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a picture of you, Rob Palmer? Oh, no, that is you? Oh, my God, that's you. What are you talking about? Oh, you guys, <laughs> check it out. What are you uh, talking about? Check this photo out. What are you talking about? Oh, that's my personal page. That's not the one. Oh. I was that's Rob Palmer right there, you guys. Really? That's Rob really? Palmer on that's... World Trade wow. Center. Yeah. That's the World Trade oh, well, Center building. You know, North Tower behind us. I'm on the uh -huh. roof of, of the uh, South. Yeah. I can't believe that's you. So where's the plane? Uh, it looks like yeah. a younger version of Carl. You can, you can basically <laughs> see it's blurry, but the Empire State Building is behind the this right here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Wow, Rob, you you were kind of handsome there. What happened? <laughs> you didn't forget to add that part. So you didn't. So 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 nobody photoshopped a plane going uh, no. flying mm -hmm. behind them. Well, how much how much before nine eleven was that? Uh, it was about a year. Yeah. Wow. Uh, no, that was not you. In that was not you. I tell you. What? <laughs> <coughs> Faith got muted in the middle of the I said, hi, Celia. No, Faith was saying something and she got muted. Yeah, she's still she muted. muted. Faith is still muted. <laughs> Romero doesn't want to. That was you in 2000? Yeah. No freaking way. I feel really old now. <laughs> like, you like feel I old? would have you, said that. You like, feel old? No. Yes. I'm 40. I'm having a moment. Like, I had to help a doctor oh. retire today. You're 40? Like, oh, my God. Because. I'm a protected class in America now. Thank you very much. Age discrimination begins at 40. You can't fuck with me anymore. I, I So I was about 40. Let me think about that. That would have been 42 or 3. Yeah. I am mentally in my 30s. Almost my age. I'm mentally in my 30s, I think. 23 years ago. Don't worry, Faith. Sexism is much stronger than ageism. Oh, I know. I know. You already have plenty of experience with that, so... <laughs> Because I happen to work for the government, so I know how really hard it is to fire people. I was 
29 when that happened. Do you remember uh, it? So young. Yeah, I, I was a senior in high school. I was 17. I was in sixth grade. <laughs> Avi, go go go! Jump off a cliff somewhere. Please. I wasn't born yet. I was I was driving. Oh, to shut my job. up! I was, <laughs> I was driving to my job at a military contractor, and like they locked down the place, like thinking we were going to be the next target. It was like we had like forty people in a little building in the middle of New Jersey. It's like yeah, <laughs> we're going to be the next target after after the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. They got to come after Shrewsbury, New Jersey. Hey, they were um, talking about coming after Edmonton because of our aerospace you know, links. Like yeah. we're well, a great a hub to get. It's to a thing on um, a um, uh, during the Cold War. Anybody else remember this? Is that people were bragging about who would be the first nuked and, and stuff? It was just like a, it was like a I big know. deal. I, I remember my father yeah, bragging it was a about lot it. of scared the crap out of importance. It was going to be Fort target. Ord next because Fort Ord is is going to right. be is, the way, is a military uh, base and is really important. Yeah, as my uncle at the time said, we were always raised to believe the military was there to protect us, but really they're just interested in protecting themselves. Mm. Well, anyway, so we have a new we have a new invitee. Hey. Hello, Hi. Daniel. Hi. 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 Welcome. Hi. Saya, do you want to introduce who who this is? This is my brother. She's got a brother. She has a brother. I see the resemblance. Oh. Do you? Okay. Do you I see the resemblance? So. I think so. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. sort of. Yeah, yeah, flat, well, you, that's not a flattering really angle. Glasses, you could definitely like. You want to put it. a higher angle, Nathaniel? That's a that's the best angle. Yeah. Is usually higher. Yeah. Or you want I'm a phone or a, What do you want? I'm, I'm sorry. What do you What are you using? Is it a phone or are you? I'm a, using my phone for right now. Okay. I'll put you wherever Celia is, so, so if you have problems. Romero, <laughs> yes, you raised your hand. Um, oh, no. That, it's, that was me. It's, Sorry. It's, <laughs> ignore it. She's okay. doing that. I keep Mine doing won't do therapy. that. Like, I keep yes, when it. you talk oh, with your hand, sometimes it just... Aren't you guys I, underwater I yet over work, there? I don't understand the Zoom shit. Well, oh. it's only because you have a Mac, right? Look at how <laughs> cute. No, yeah. the other day I was... at my stupid meeting at work and i just took a really long drink of my tea because it was a really long horrible awful meeting and i was trying to not swear and it's like raising your hand i'm like i'm not raising my hand i'm drinking my tea well rob just raised his hand oh yeah that worked okay. yeah. oh i'm mine so glad do it. my machine oh, my computer's too old <laughs> well, we have no, yeah, no, it's not doing it. sometimes it doesn't sometimes it doesn't it's only pc i mean it's only I got a thumbs up before i have mac I'm on a Mac. Oh, I'm on okay. a Mac, oh, okay. but it so won't do it. Oh, Jim's uh, loving on us. Yeah. Oh, those okay. are I'm balloons. Just exper I'm just experimenting with this uh, <laughs> reaction stuff. So, so Nathaniel, you just moved to the Sacramento area, is that right? Uh, about a year ago, yeah. Sort of in a suburb no. called Carmichael, which is on the American River, which is rather nice. Oh. Although it's hot. Oh, yeah. Where were you from before? I was from the Bay Area, uh, Berkeley originally. I had been living in El Cerrito for the last 10 years or so. Oh, well, yeah, going over there, it's kind of, I mean, you're not that far away from where you were, but it is hot. It's <laughs> very hot. Well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a different mindset. So tell us about Celia. <laughs> what can you tell us? Are you her big brother yeah, or little brother? Yeah, fill us in. <laughs> I'm her big brother. <laughs> and and uh, what about her? What should we know? Oh, <laughs> she doesn't tell us. Probably no. A little brat? Was it. she a little brat when she was little? <laughs> no, not she a, still brat, is a brat. brat okay, I get it. Um, no, she wasn't a brat, but <laughs> but <laughs> she <laughs> used to. Yeah. She liked. To believe she used to uh, think life was musical and used to would like try to sing everything. That was when she was about six. <laughs> oh yeah! Wow, I, I don't remember that. that. You don't. What, you do singing? remember that, or you don't remember I that? Do not singing everything. No, I don't remember. Well, things like pass the butter, pass the butter, <laughs> play. <laughs> well, that's it's kind right. of cute. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, 
unfortunately, oh, you were in a family of cynics who didn't appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> little bratty little sister. Sally, are you the youngest? No, no, I'm the third of four. And Nathaniel's oh. the second of four. And oh, she was... has three sisters and no brother. Oh, he was the brat. Yeah. Well, I have two half brothers. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We have a couple half brothers, but we didn't grow up with them. Yeah. Oh wow. So so did Celia tell you like what you're in for here, or did she not? <laughs> not tell you? A little bit. Oh, I, my... I hope so. She because... have warned you. We hope she warned you. <laughs> yeah, because it gets a little weird in here sometimes. I mean, we're kind of we we've, we've met for four years every Thursday, and and mm -hmm. so people tend to get to know each other really well, and we just kind of. Um, you know, we're kind of strange about stuff, but you know, we, when we have a new person, the first time they visit, we always are on our best behavior. Oh, I've got to start making the rooms. Where's everybody at? I don't yeah. know. Alan says he's on his way. Right. And the Deborah's always here a little late, but where is everybody? At? There's almost nobody. Like, usually shows TikTok, up. Adrian's got a, a category tonight. Where the hell is she? I talked to her earlier today. I know she's got the, she's, she's, well, I guess she'll be here. Let me put everybody in the rooms really quick. So, um, so yeah, I'm doing bonus tonight, right? Right. Yes, you are. Thank you very okay. much. One of my <laughs> high school friends just sent me a link to the movie about Randy and Honest Liar and said, you would love this. It's so good. <laughs> I go, I'm glad you <laughs> liked it. Oh, Ooh. that's nice that you would. It's be. really nice. Yeah. It, it's a great movie. And I, I know, it's a but, great yeah. movie, but, but of course she knows it. And of course I know it, but uh, I didn't know any of my high school friends knew it. I mean, we were cool. we were a really small class. What about 40? Wow. He's probably the only one. Oh, interesting. So that's cool. We we got okay. So let me see. Um Lovey, Jamie. Jamie's got first category, you know that, right? Oh, okay. And then <laughs> That's okay. Write it quickly. Hurry up. Quick. Uh, <laughs> figure it out, Jamie. Okay. No, I just, I just frightened. Karen. Lee should have lost me, right? I successfully frightened Paula Serrano into registering because she got her airline <laughs> tickets and she didn't get the conference tickets. So what you told me today, I said, there's 700 plus people registered. They might sell out. So she said, okay, now it's 701. <laughs> cool. Good. Okay, so let me make the rooms. Now, Nathaniel, do you know how to use breakout rooms? Have you ever done that? Uh, it's been a while, um, but I think I do. Okay, so um, can you see the chat in your phone or no? Can I see the what? Your chat, the chat. The chat. Yeah. Okay, If what, what a lot of the teams do is they also put up a, a, like a screen share of the of the chat with the questions are so it's easier. I don't know mm -hmm. what your team's going to do. Every every week the teams change. We I move people around because it forces them to to um, socialize and that kind of thing. So I never mm -hmm. intentionally make a team, and and that's a nice thing about the. I think it's cool is that you guys are you get to know each other, different people. But this week I'm going to put you on with Celia, just so that it'll just be a little easier for you. And then you should be getting a notification that says "Go to your room, go to your room." And then you'll in go the chat. You invite it. You're invited. It, no, it'll be it'll invited be into a breakout room. room. Yeah, you'll be. It'll appear in the middle of your screen, and mm -hmm. um, you'll just follow those prompts in your room. They'll give you a little mm -hmm. more instruction, and then uh, mm. if if there's any complications, we'll figure it out. Celia can message me if there's some kind of issue, and I can kind of get you out of most everything. But that's okay. <clears throat> we'll be all right. So we're going to get started with the group names. I'm going to let you guys go to your rooms. I never record this part. I never enter. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm expecting Adrian to show up for room three. Yeah, so I've nagged her. Week. Yeah, don't forget her. Let me see if Caspian's showing up. Okay. Mm. Oops. Did Jim just fall? No. Nope. <laughs> uh, you just fall? Are you okay? Who? What? What? Looks like Jim fell. Jim fell off his chair. Oh. Hope you're okay. Well, he's uh, okay. See you later. He made it to his room. Room one. Hello. There you are. 
I just put them in the room. So okay. you are going into room three. Okay, sounds good. Just off. We have a new person. Celia's a uh, little brother. Oh, no, cool. brother. Showed up. She says he's in Sacramento or he doesn't really know a lot of people. So she invited him here. Oh, you are. Oh, there it is. It's that you better change your name. Oh, yeah. It's only going to get confusing. And I'm, am I presenting in then group three? Mm -hmm. I'm really frustrated actually, because I'm trying to do a PowerPoint. So I was trying to use photos from my phone from Iceland. And it, the stupid iCloud kept blocking me downloading them. I'm trying to figure it out. I have really. problems with my, when I record, like when I went to the mentalism conference, I had Sterling yeah. and I, Sterling used Mark's phone mm -hmm. to record and it was a bear to get the video off of there. And yeah. I have the same problem with mine. iPhones are great, but they. They're very uh, finicky. They don't like you going off their site for some reason. I don't know. Well, just downloading things. I, yeah. I, really yeah. hard. I I've know. never encountered that before. I usually can download really easily right off the website and it just kept blocking. I, I was able to do like five photos. So then it just started blocking. I've got three oh, to go. Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand it. Anyhow, we'll see how it goes. I'll go see my group. Okay, have fun. I better put this on pause, right? Lillian Carter. So what it's actually be a good trivia question. <laughs> what do they have in common? Besides the last name. Jason, Alice, and Lillian Carter have It's not possible to guess. I don't believe. Well, Lillian's not alive. Uh, yeah, okay. multiple answers they're all human beings i would bet as a <laughs> yeah they're all human hey, who is lillian carter lillian carter is actually was jimmy carter's mother like mother and she was one of the oldest peace corps volunteers oh. and oh. i just learned <laughs> that um Alice Carter. Did he, that there was an Alice Carter, not related, who was also a very old Peace Corps volunteer. Who was a friend was, of mine. Who was a friend of Janine's, which is super cool. And Jason Carter is Jimmy Carter's grandson, who was a Peace Corps volunteer when he was young. Well, he's still youngish. You can tell what we were talking UFO? about, what we were supposed to be getting names. We were talking about the Peace Corps. So, so is, is Jason the one who's in the UFO movie that I want you to see? Talking about the Carter UFO? <laughs> I don't think Which, so. Yeah, no, I no, think he might. No, he might. This is one of his grandsons is there. Is it his grandson? Oh, his grandson? Well, then yeah. that's the one who's named Jason. He ran for, was it governor or Senate or Congress or something? Jason Carter also. And he served in actually in... Um, well, he served after me, I think, like in the late 90s in South Africa, when they opened up South Africa to... Peace Where did Lillian to. Carter serve? God, India. Before she married Jimmy, I would think, somewhere, right? Somewhere in That's India. his mother. No, no. It was, With it his was, mom. It was his mom. Did yeah, she, she go went, back after retire, like after the post-retirement volunteer, when post-retirement volunteers were a lot less yeah. common. When was the first Peace Corps? It, it was founded in 1961. I think okay. the site is going to okay. do a category on this. <laughs> well, I already did remember. Another category on this. <laughs> All right. So next team, Adrian, hey, Carol, and Faith, and Romero. I'm here. We have an image for you. So our team name is Helene, Helene, Helene. Don't take my root. <laughs> just, just because please. you can't. Helene, Helene, oh, that's bad. Helene, 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 don't take my roof just because you can. Oh, okay, oh, so don't awful. we still have a have a team name to come up with? Oh, or... that is awful. That is Jenna, their team name. What? Don't take take my roof just because you can. I said it was don't flood my house because you can't. Be, but I remembered the meme wrong because. My friends have been posting this because yeah, we're all. It's like don't away. take don't okay. take my man because you can. So that's closer. Don't take my roof just because you can. Roof hey, because are you guys you in the path of the hurricane at all? Is it gonna? Yeah, we are sort we're of. Right now. We're in the path of. 
outer bands, but um, we should be getting rain, et cetera. And we've had tornado warnings. So. See. I'm more We're interested in North Carolina. Romero, I didn't know if we should put our trash cans out tonight or not. So, oh, uh, are, are you fairly far inland? Like, yeah. yeah, we are, but it's she's coming up through Tallahassee. Alex. Tallahassee is about 10 hours away from us. So, it's yeah. We will, the mountains near us have flooded and school here is canceled tomorrow because of the projected, what, like 25, 35 mile per hour wind gusts. I don't know what oh. that is. Metric. <laughs> I'm just more fast. Not enough for us to cancel school. Yeah, I'm what's just... going on in North Carolina with the... Uh, with... Oh my God! You're... I mean, I think it might be enough for you to cancel school. It's what whatever you would be able to drive in a residential area plus some, so... Wow. Yeah. Okay. So next team, Kat, Kevin, Rob, and Ron. And my understanding is that Adrian will be able to explain this. The many sides <laughs> of cat. Does this have What's to do with the die? inside and the outside? Does this have Something to do with the Back to the zone, Adrian. <laughs> now you can say hi. Did you not listen to this week's episode? Not yet. Yeah, but... The very end. Where you do what the dice do? roll, yeah, and you, yeah. Is that the 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 icosahedron and the dodecahedron? Yeah. Uh, that's where, and we yeah, couldn't that's think that's of what it was referencing. <laughs> and we couldn't think of the name. Sides of it, a cat. Uh, I, uh, Rob said it, and Bobby's mom it. is waving hello, everybody. Hello. Hey, Debbie. Because we were too busy talking politics. And apparently, and apparently, Kat needs a statistics lesson because the 19 chance of 19 coming up was a little bit unclear. Even after I listened to it twice, I didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah, I thought that was odd too. Why wouldn't 19 come up? Yeah. It's just as likely as five. Well, there's a difference between experimental and theoretical probability. I think that's what Kat was getting to. Oh. So, uh, well, how and, many dice? So that's what we're saying. Just is one. You can actually go a hundred times rolling that die and not getting 19, or you could get 19 20 times in a row if you roll it enough times. So, you know, there is a difference between experimental and uh, and theoretical. All right, I think you need to go back to Richard and tell him to make an edit to make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was that important. We're just having some fun. <laughs> I told you, I listened to it two times to see if I could understand what you were talking about. Why didn't you just message me? I would have explained. <laughs> I was driving. I, was I don't driving. get what the point of many sides of cat are. <laughs> we were okay, talking sweet. about all the different sides of a die and the dice game. And Rob just said that and it stuck because we were talking about politics and how I don't understand how somebody can be a black Nazi. Oh, actually, it's a thing. And, He's and, also he also wants to reinstate slavery. Yes, yes. yes. and he wants to take away. And he would buy some, right buy some. And he right. wants he to own somebody. somebody. Yeah. yeah, and you're not supposed to say that yeah. word here on YouTube because something might happen. But yeah, the it's a, it's a thing. I watched. Uh, um, they were talking about. Well, anyway, we're getting into it, but that but in, it's a shock, but it's a thing that this is this is a thing that that anyway. Yeah. Except that so hey, how come Adrian has my picture on her her thing? What your lo your photo is me. It's the same what? photo I have. She's in my account. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't know. I do not understand this. How sometimes it, when I join something, I I end up in your account, and other times I end up in my account. I seem to have no control. I thought for sure it would be my account today because I did a a, a presentation last night via my account and but today it depends on the link you pick to join the, the game no actually it's there's an option you can choose in zoom so if you have multiple zoom accounts in your um that you use if you when you're on the, like the zoom uh application open not like the zoom like when you where you're choosing back to meeting all that kind of or a uh, join meeting blah 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 in the top right corner there will be um, like your profile picture. And if you click that, there's an option to switch accounts. Oh, okay. That's good yeah. to know. Cause I, I, what I found in the past is that the last account I use is usually the one that comes up. So I it's usually Kyle. It didn't happen that, with, that way. Randy, so I'm going to put them 
Shoot. Um, hi. Give them to us. I might hi, not Kyle. Are you bringing today. Andy we need also? Kyle. We need Kyle. Kyle Have where's you your seen twist? this issue of science? Ooh. This is really interesting. They were using lo uh, large language AI to yep. help debunk or help unconvinced people of conspiracy theories Doesn't it's work. very interesting yeah it's a very interesting the problem is they don't put enough information about the study here you know so i had some but Can they said hold? there was a 20 percent decline and it persisted two months can you hold up that 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 uh, magazine again i, I always Carl, see are you bringing brandy with you? arguments okay uh, no, she might join later. Uh, we're in different cities at the moment. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to put... I <laughs> wrote Carl. To simplify things, put both of us in the same team. Oh, too. my gosh. I'm such a... No, no. Okay, so here we are. Let's get started. So uh, we have four teams tonight, four teams that are vying for the championship of September 26, 2024, which is game 235, those... 200 dos 135 and this is season five because we're in their fourth year of doing trivia that is amazing so we have uh thank you i want to say thank you first to, to you guys holding the grounds last week with the talk like a pirate day that was great mm -hmm. i was out of town i cannot even I, I can't i'm in a different time zone and everything and i was traveling and there's no way i could do it but thank you so much the video is uploaded thank you adrian for recording and getting that together and that's sending me the photo love that um okay so the tonight the categories are i mean the people are no <laughs> the teams are uh team number one a monkey holding a pager is called a ba boom <laughs> yeah. okay Versus, what do Alice, Jason, and Lillian Carter have in common? Versus, Helene, 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 Helene. Don't take my riff just because you can. Versus, the many sides of cat. I think it's the first time we haven't had a political. We haven't had somebody who's trying to get something political in there. I think ours is technically political. Yeah, yeah I guess. <laughs> But it's not Trump related, so that, I guess that is different. Okay, so we have the leaders of our team who are doing the categories tonight. Are we're going to lead off with Jamie, and then we're going to follow that with Carl, <coughs> with a K, and then Adrian, and then Cat is filling in for uh, Wendy, who was going to do bonus. So it's Cat tonight, and next week I shall let you know. Everybody, we're full except for we need one category. So keep that in mind. I think it's going to be Debbie next time. Debbie's going to do it right. She, she's been watching this for years. She knows how to do it. Yeah, that's the story. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> It'd be fun. Who knows what she'd have? We wouldn't know what to expect from her. She, no. she, she would, we, we would certainly wouldn't be able to know what it would be. Okay. So, Jamie, you have your, oh my God, what is those pillows? Oh no, it's not. Uh -huh. a, oh, I got to give you the co host permissions again because you had left and now you're back. Okay. Oh. Yes, the category is pillow trivia. I don't think anyone has ever done pillows before. No, we've never done pillows. Yeah. So I'm pillowing my After head. After so many mountain. years, you start grasping a subject. <laughs> I, I'm shocked at the stuff that we have not done, that everybody comes up with something new and you're like, uh, what? I think it's something different. But okay. first, a joke. I get depressed whenever I stick my hand inside a feather pillow. It makes me feel down. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best. Oh, okay. that's awful. We already had a horrible dad joke earlier tonight. So. Yeah. I what? Think yeah. I wasn't that probably bad. Probably maxed out. <laughs> I missed it. You'll oh. have to repeat it. Oh, I recorded it. You can listen. Okay. Let's see how many more we can get in the recording. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Mr. Pillow Man. Are we all set? Yeah. Okay, number one. The earliest recorded use of pillows was in ancient Mesopotamia, where stone pillows were used as early as what BC? What? Plus stone pillows? Yep, stone pillows. Four Plus or minus 500 years. 
Yep, they use stone yeah. pillows. Soft stones. Okay, number two. Well, this is quite one for Nathaniel to start on cheese. <laughs> okay, it's different. This is not sports trivia, y'all. Right, no. I hope she warned you. There will be no sports. No. Number two. Wealthy ancient Egyptians also used stone or wood pillows in order to elevate their heads during sleep. The main reason for this was what? The reason to use the pillow, not the reason that stone or wood. Exactly. Why do they use a pillow? Yeah. Okay. So I'll be pillow literate by the time we're done. Oh, I'm I'm going to be using this. I'm going to find some way of inserting this into a conversation. I'm going to have at my dentist's office. That's the only thing I got tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to go to the dentist. I'm say, so <laughs> you know, <laughs> we'll be Number illiterate. Go to hey, that's good. Literate. Number three in ancient China. It was believed that soft pillows suck the energy out of bodies. Pillows were therefore made of wood, stone, or what other material? Number four. In Japan, a young apprentice geisha must learn a new way to sleep. She uses a takamakura, which is essentially a tall support stand for her neck. Why? Number five. Cylindrically shaped pillows used for hugging during sleep is very popular in Thailand. These are called what types of pillows? I think they used in the US, maybe. Mm -hmm. Number six. <clears throat> in the 1959 movie Pillow Talk, this actor slaps Doris Day. In the scene, a truck driver then punches him in the jaw. During filming, though, this punch was misjudged, and this actor was actually struck mm -hmm. and knocked unconscious. Who was this actor? That's interesting that it came out very small font. Really? Yeah, I, I took it from, and then I tried to repost it. Let me see. Okay, here it is <laughs> without the small font. So, by, so by the way, who was this actor? Uh, there's two. There's two. The truck driver or the person who punches him. The person who got knocked unconscious. Uh, was he knocked unconscious in the movie, or they had to re <clears throat> redo the movie? Uh, they had to redo it to. Uh, no, like I think the, part of the movie. I think they actually. Kept, yeah, I think they actually kept the scene. Right. They actually kept the scene. Did you notice what Kevin put up as his background? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Number seven, oh. a fancy pillow cover. It's the Mike pillow, pillow cover, which is, hey, that's good. A fancy pillow cover, which is closed on all four sides, but having a slit on its rear side, which allows the pillow to be inserted, is called a what? Oh, okay. What is that called? Number eight, the international pillow size of King is 20 inches by how many inches? So plus or minus on that? Nope, none. This is a tough category. Those are gonna be white houses. <laughs> Thailand is the world's number one producer of this material, which is used as a very popular pillow stuffing. Hmm. This is a hard. 
category. It should be a soft category. <laughs> well, uh, well, with all the stone and wood pillows, uh, I guess it is a hard category. Could be, yeah. Number 10, I have a bonus question also. Number 10, after suffering decades of crack cocaine abuse, Mike Lindell invented my pillow in 2004. <laughs> what makes my pillow <laughs> unique? <laughs> Oh, well, that's kind of an open question there. Cellulite from Trump's ass <laughs> in every pillow. Yeah. Okay, and I have a, I have a bonus question this time. So what the heck? I wish you just stuck with inventing pillows or the company. Yeah. What's the theme? <laughs> okay. The bonus. This pillow stuffing material was originally developed in 1966 by NASA's Ames Research Center to improve the safety of aviation cushions. Today, care must be taken when using pillows made with this material since it can emit vapors of methylene chloride, toluene diocyanate, methyl chloroform, mm. methyl diphenhydramine diocyanate, propylene oxide, diethanolamine, methyl ethyl ketone, methanol, and toluene. Well, Kevin, you got a question for your son. Yes. I'd have to ask him that. Okay. I'm mm. off to bed. I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, yeah. I'm sleepy now. Here comes Deborah. Mm. She is going to go on. You're going to lose me after the second. You're going to lose. Oh, I gave you. I gave we're, Kyle. So Kyle we're on. behind. You're already behind. <laughs> yeah. I'll we're give behind. you guys Deborah. I know. I'm, we're predict I'm predicting behind. zero in this category, so we're behind. Oh, you guys! <laughs> oh, no, you guys! Okay, Deborah, let me give you your. Let me give them to you. We're more behind. It looks like Cat already fell asleep from this. So, so you're saying you have negative a negative number? You have a negative <laughs> a category. Oh, pillows, Deborah. Howdy! It, what Howdy. is it called? Pillows. pillows. I'm going to give you the. I'm going to give you the questions right pillow, now. Pillow trivia. Pillow you know, like, trivia. Look at Jamie pillows. Thing. Pillows are kind of trivial. If you have a neck problem, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a few nights without. Okay, Deborah, I'm giving you all the questions. They're in your chat. I, I see them. Yes, thank okay. you. Okay, all right, let's all go to our rooms. Hey, Susan, yeah, I need your help. Okay, and do you need to be thrown from room to room, or can you do it? Um, I mean, yeah, my software, I'll try it myself, I think, but the software has changed completely since this morning, so I'll try it myself. <laughs> since this morning? <laughs> yeah, it updated. And the stupid oh, the rooms update. are open. Okay. Mine just, uh, mine just updated too, but it looks like it's um, working. I'm not going anywhere. And we're not going anywhere. Okay. I don't see oh, any. Oh, yeah, a uh... bunch of you guys got shoved out. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, she's supposed Alan, to sign Alan, you us. are on team one. Ben, you are on... Just put us in order. One, oh, two, you didn't get a team. Did no, you all I didn't. play? I joined pretty late. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put okay. you on four. I'm gonna write that down. Okay. And then uh, Deborah, you're gonna be on two. Gail. Oh, oh I, Gail, you, you showed up. I didn't see you here. Oh, welcome. Okay. And Gail, then that makes sense. I will put you over on three. Cool beanies. They were letting people in and I didn't see who was coming in. Okay. I L. Let's see if I can spell it right. Okay, I gotta go to my room, which is team one. Ooh, Kevin Volta said that he's that the Oh wow! Uh, the storm's hitting them. Um. Oh hey, Avi. Uh, would you um, what what's the number with the one that that uh, the pillow fits inside a pillow? I know pillow that pillow. one. Oh, you do because I was. Wait, wait, wait. Which one? Uh, it's um. Oh. Seven. I, I know seven, that one. Seven. Number seven. It's a slip cover. Oh okay. I was gonna say a pillow slip. <laughs> Well, that's okay. probably the same. That'd be really cool. Okay, well, so you guys have already done these. Mom. Yeah. After, oh, after, after, all, the ask mom after all the ordinary um, things, call it mom, pillow slip. <laughs> uh, a fancy pillow cover, which is closed in all four sides, but having a slit on its rear side, which allows the pillow to be inserted, is called a what? 
He, she doesn't know. Okay, okay, so you guys got to a bunch of these already. Okay, so question number um, one. I so I, I don't know, Jim. What do you think? I I my my thought with number three was bamboo. Yeah, well, I I, I just decided to think. Okay, what's a what's a third hard thing that? So to me, the reason. Uh, so, so I thought brick, but for me, I was I was thinking like you have the bamboo flooring and stuff and you could just literally or bamboo mats that you could literally just roll up the bamboo mat and use that as a pillow and what and the fact sand? that it's that it's chinese it just it, it kind of fit that's the only, you know that's came okay to mind. let's okay let's let, let's go with bamboo uh what did, about it, did anybody get something for two sound reasoning anybody have a guess for two i am i see you out there I was just wondering if it was for safety that it keeps their heads up so that they can always look around and see what sur their surroundings. No, I think it's for Bob their says hair. They had sleep apnea. What? Oh, what? What did I? Somebody just said something interesting. Was that uh, Jim? Who said that about the hair or something? Mean? Yeah, I think it has to do with like their oh. hair. What about their hair? So they don't mess it up. Like by or are they the jewelry or something or the the hair the things that maybe wealthy Egyptians elevated their heads during sleep. Oh, well, that would make sense because if I because what I was thinking is if they could see their surroundings, but they're but the wealthy would mean these are what the the poor could not afford and they could not afford to get the fancy hair. So you maybe maybe um, you're. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. That just sounds like well, okay, go to question number um Okay, we don't have anything for four. I you know I was thinking that's that, the one is, trying that to remember one is because I, they had their hair was very elaborate and their makeup. That no, was I was thinking and I, I I read the book Geisha and I can't remember I that, about this. But but I'm did they not have to because they needed elegant necks, they had to stretch that was they a, had, that was a, it's a different culture. No, in 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 the geisha community, they had very elaborate hair and right. very elaborate makeup. So I'm sure they're not putting their hair. So they probably have to lay on some kind of thing that sticks up because they can't. They well, can't, that that comes uh, across very similar to. That comes very similar to the one that uh, that Kyle came up with for yeah, the yeah, but Egyptians. that doesn't sound right. Why would the ancient Egyptians? I mean, their hair was just. I mean, it wasn't anything fancy, was it? They shaved their head. No, that was the um, the commoners, didn't they? Or yeah, they, everybody they shaved braids. their heads. It's the braids on the back of their head, or something, with most of the head shaved. So I don't think it was the hair. No, I thought they shaved everything. So I wonder if it isn't possible that they had to sit it up. Wait, are we? Which are we talking about? Are we talking about the Egyptians or the uh, number four? The Two, number two, the ancient Egyptians used to use stone or wood pillows to elevate their heads during sleep. I bet it was religious reasons. They probably thought that it had something. Well, the ancient Egyptian pharaohs and their friends and cousins of caused watering of the eyes and refractions of the skin. That was onions. That's something else. Um, you don't remember that song? Okay. Um I don't know. Okay, let's well, keep do, do we have any other guesses for any of the others? We can always come back. Uh, do we have okay, so, we've got, so they don't mess up their hair for two and four so it, as guesses. I think number two is something religious. I'll put I'll put that religious here re reasons, and then we'll okay. decide which one. In By the, the way, 1959 movie think, Pillow Talk, it would be a, a trunk drive. A Rock Hudson. Rock Hudson. Rock Hudson. Uh, the international pillow size, I think, is 20 by 24. This, and that's just a guess. Well, now, hang on. Is it so, it doesn't say, is it 20 inches wide, like long? Yeah, uh, but King is about... So I was thinking like 20 by 10 or something like that, so that it's like long and narrow? No, I think it's probably 20 by 10. I think it's King size... Um, because the, the I'm thinking of the size pillows that they have in like Germany, and those are almost square. A king in America is long, 
Yeah, and this it's is the international. It's international. This is the international it's... pillow size. Okay, so well, it, it could be almost square because that's yeah. very common in Germany. And in America, the king size is a rectangle. Um, we've got because sometimes we've gotten these pillows that are like really like long, but they're but they're they're relatively speaking narrow. So I don't know, but I don't know what size those are. Okay, Thailand's number one producer is probably uh, um, polyurethane, or um, or maybe that's uh, the answer. Be for the bonus. Foam rubber, foam rubber. Um, it could be. Well, it says the most. It's a popular pillow stuffing. It's probably. Um, well, feathers were very common until we until people came up with the. Uh, no, but it's it's. I'm sure it's a chemical thing like. Um, is polyurethane polyurethane, polyurethane polyurethane is polyurethane and and foam rubber the same thing maybe well the bonus went down there about the aims i would think that it might be something like polyurethane some kind of like combustible okay. sounding thing yeah poly okay like polyurethane sounds good for the bonus um and then maybe just uh yeah I just said it. What was the word I said? Uh, polyester. polyester. Polyester is that's a linen material. I don't Isn't think it's like that. Really, what is that stuff that's really spun? It's loose. I know what you're talking about. It's yeah. white, and it's yeah. I, know what you're, I just called that stuffing. <laughs> yeah. For a long time, the most popular pillow stuffing stuff was was feathers of some sort. Yeah, but that's that's. And down is not also anymore. Maybe the feathers, but and Thailand is not known for its. Yeah. Well, I uh, I mean, uh, feathers, feather pill pillows are are hazardous to ducks. <laughs> hazardous to what? To ducks. Ducks. Okay. Right. Yes. Well, well just, just just sort of any sort of domestic bird: chickens, ducks, geese. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, 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 you probably. They what makes a my pillow unique? Than, uh, so that uh, uh, it's fairly easy to collect enough. I, but I what, what about number 10? What about number 10? Okay, so well, is actually, the question what makes you, the company unique or what makes their no, pillows there, there, unique? There is something unique about the pillows because I remember listening um, well before they, Trump to they a. Suck, apparently, they suck. To know. an interview with. with um, with uh, Mike Lindell about how he developed his company and what makes the pills unique. Um, and there was something in there, but I don't remember what it was. He stops them with cocaine. Okay, so is it the company or is it's it the pillow? pillow? Well, then why does it say Product. what makes, why is the question not say what makes their pillows unique? Are they stuffed with goose feathers or something? Okay. Um, Jamie, on yes. question ten, the answer says, "What makes my pillow unique?" Are we talking about the company or the pillows? The pillows themselves. Okay, so it's, so the pillows are unique for this reason. I think it has company. something to do with the sizing. Um, Aren't they have a fabric coating over the top, and not like a a thin piece of fabric, like like it's more of a quilted <coughs> fabric. I really think it has something to do with the sizing because the, he made a big, I remember him making a big deal about um, sizing in this interview. But again, it's been like. So they have a non standard like sizing, maybe? 11 or 12, 13 before. It's not like a normal size of a, you know, whatever we would pick a size that's a non standard size. Well, because like, yeah, like they're instead of like um, soft, medium, and hard or whatever, there's something else, I think. Well, you're in charge of this one because I don't know. Nobody else is saying anything. Jamie, what do you think? Ky you Kyle's got like <laughs> 10 of these my pillows. I heard. He keeps <laughs> buying them. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kyle, have you not interviewed him yet? Uh, Lindell? He's on I his list. get a good reply from him. Statistically, oh. we're going to talk about the data on it. Data. I'll put softness slash sizing. Is that is that specific enough? No, you got to pick one. 
non-standard sizes? Oh, that's probably wrong. But I you but, said that it was something to do with sizing, right? I think the sizing or softness. It's like because it's yeah, like I think maybe they're a square or something. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I don't know. I thought I saw the photos, and they seem to be, you know, it looked like a pillow, white pillow. Well, it wouldn't be non-standard sizes because then nobody could buy um, a covering for them. So it has to be something. They're made. I'd say they're made in. They're made in China, but so is everything else. So. Um, so non-standard softness, um, softness designations, um, because it wouldn't be, uh, different sizing now that I think about it, because otherwise you couldn't buy a pillowcase Unless you buy anywhere. And they don't but it'd be like, they, they, because he wants you to buy his pillowcase. Well, nobody's going to do that. <laughs> well, how about this, Avi? Maybe instead of, like you said, queen, king, standard, maybe it's like, marshmallow softness and one's called dream soft softness or something uh, it, like was, it wasn't something like that it was oh. it was he i think he like he was making a big deal about like the shape has to be right for your head or something um and the the soft i don't i don't know it's it's weird They're not foam it's, it's like filled a... it's it's filled with brick <laughs> <laughs> okay let's go well, back to think, question two because yeah i don't think we're going to get number 10 right even if but we have something here so that, okay, that's fine question two we've got two different things ancient egyptians use stone or wood pillows in order okay so it must be something that the wealthy did because or they were the only ones that could afford to have a pillow but it's a stone or wood how hard would that be Kyle, you said so then they don't mess up their hair. Do you know that or do you just guessing that? How confident are you in your like 50-50? 50 50. 50 50. You don't Some think it's don't possible know. that they want to sit up there so that they can open their eyes and see around them because wow. of their worrying about someone stealing or something like that? I don't know. I wonder if um just the supply of things to use for a soft pillow is low. I think it has something to do with status. Like, you know, we we elevate our heads because we're closer to God or Well, they God. believe the, the pharaohs believe they are God. <laughs> well, these are wealthy. These aren't pharaohs. Yeah. So, Susan, can you start the timer, please? Mm -hmm. Is that possible? What's that? Yay. Okay. Thank you. Um, Jamie, if yeah. the, if assuming the correct, this encompass the correct answer, would religious reasons be specific enough? Assuming that it was a religious reason. Yeah, it would be enough, but I'm not going to give you any hints. Yeah. But okay. Keep thinking. So, <laughs> Um, what are we going to go with? They're making, they sit up there so they can make sure that no one's building a pyramid around them. <laughs> Probably so they don't mess up their hair. But we already have that for four. And also their hair wasn't like, the, the, literally yeah. they, they we had have 60 seconds, figure it out. Uh, it's yeah. also, man, does it, does it specify men or women or just Egyptians? I, I really, do, I don't think it's the hair. Yeah. I, I'm I'm going to make an executive decision and say it's not the hair. And then we can blame you. I think you it's the sitting up, up to, to, to see, to be able to see. I don't know. Somebody's got to make a decision. Somebody better make a decision. Uh, I'll. I'll make the decision. It's religious reasons. And um, we'll see when we get there that I'm wrong. And Jamie seems to already be reacting. That must be wrong. So, um, uh, but whatever. They want to be able to watch the TV better. <laughs> well, I really think, why not just put it then? That they want, to, they want to be able to, if they open their eyes, they can look around and make sure that they are safe. I don't know. Like safety? Why is this the hardest question? <laughs> okay, well, Jamie, you pick. I mean, uh, Jamie, Avi, 
you're in charge of the screenshot. I'm just gonna put this religious reasons. Ah, and you know then it'll be dad. Then when dad's right, we'll we'll uh... Okay. Hopefully people will get more than zero on this category. Oh no, that does that mean that the ones you saw are all wrong? I think we did. Okay. <laughs> He's joking. He's joking. Yeah. We did joking. great. I know we did oh. right. Okay. So number one. Oops, where am I here? Hold on. One second. Oh. It actually <laughs> always amazes me how well we do. We get all these questions. I'm like, no clue in the world. And somehow we get, you know, sevens, eights. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number one. The earliest time. recorded use of pillows, ancient Mesopotamia, was 7,000 BC. Oh, geez. We were oh, way geez. off. God. First we thought was right off. Right 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 how could you not have had a pillow? Well we, before, yeah, well before the Egyptians. Of course, that would be really hard to sleep with. <laughs> yeah. Um, ancient Egyptians used these hard pillows for what purpose? It was to keep insects away from their noses and their ears. Yes. Exactly. Oh my God. We used orifices. Good job. We used orifices. Hair. Um, no. that's, you know, that is nose hair. It was, it was like insects religious. everywhere that we were worried about. How could you? How could a pillow keep an insect out of your nose? And isn't that religious, Jamie? That's they really say it works. Climb up. <laughs> no. I, I mean, insect we, um, can climb up easily. It's not well, hard. But you, well, years ago, no, years ago, we were camping in the Sinai, and we were told. They gave us hard pillows to elevate our heads. We were sleeping on sleeping bags. And it's true because you get centipedes and scorpions and things all around you. But they and could, so who, was, who was sleeping at that point? They could climb up into a... They're afraid of heights. That's what they That's what they told us to do. And yeah, that's what they did. They kept bugs. And, it didn't, and you didn't get a centipede in your nose or a scorpion in your ear. So you must have... Um, well, well, you also <laughs> greased the pillow, Susan. So then they just oh, slide now right that out. makes oh. sense. Yeah. So <laughs> your head slides off. Or you sprayed the perimeter of the pillow with raid. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Now that would work. <laughs> that would work. Well, what we had to do is we had to wear a light on our heads, these little headlamps, because when you go outside to pee, there are scorpions. So when you <laughs> pee outside, you got to make sure. I, I wouldn't be sleeping yeah. out. I would not be peeing outside. You got to be careful of the deserts. Number three, in ancient <laughs> China, um, they never used soft pillows. Pillows are usually made out of ceramic. Ceramic or porcelain. Oh. What if we said clay? Yeah, yeah clay would That's work. That's essentially what yeah. you okay. make that yeah. out of. That's a clay. ceramic. Yeah. My, yeah. My guess of brick that uh, uh, that they got shot down would, uh, uh, would that qualify? Yeah. No, I mean, Chinese... that's not ceramic. No. But, um, uh, so bamboo is ceramic. It's a type of ceramic, right? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Right. Uh, Jamie, did, so would brick would brick have worked? No, that's not ceramic. No. It's really it's ceramic or like porcelain. The Chinese were very famous for making porcelain. Okay, mm. so it's just ceramics and porcelain, like they make plates. That's what the As Chinese we call were porcelain China. Yeah, or at least I grew up calling it China. Yeah, yeah. That's what they were famous yeah. for. Sort of in uh, uh, much late, much later in history, uh, some Europeans went to great effort to try to reverse engineer how to do it. Thus. Dresden, China, and Wedgwood, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Number four, um, the apprentice geishas in Japan they elevate their heads because the geisha women have extremely elaborate hairdos, and they don't uh, want to go uh, up their hair. Uh, okay. Well, at least we got one right. Yeah, have seen geishas. The cylindrical shaped pillows that's very popular here. They're called um, bol here. They're called bolster pillows. Bolster. But they're also called like his body pillows in America. Will you take so body then, or are we taking body then or no? Yeah, body okay. body pillow in America. They call the bolster. 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 They bolster you. Side support. Bolster. Yeah. And I, I used know, to call we, that the, the big pillow that you had on your couch was called a bolster. Yeah, here they're called bolster pillows. And when you buy um, sets, you no, know, the um, bed sets, they always come with the case for these bolster pillows. So we we tried it. We bought a bolster pillow and it sucks. Yeah, in in the rehab, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> they have big, huge, um, uh, you know, for for physical therapy, they have 
big but much firmer than a pillow that they call a bolster to have you know work on well these are these are firm, these are firm. stronger and more mobile these are firm cylindrical pillows and you hug them and you put your leg over it and almost all ties that's how they sleep they hug this thing they put the leg over it and it's supposed to keep your spine aligned yeah, it's supposed to, it's good for your back yeah. yeah i remember I, I, being pregnant i used to always have to do that and still now i sleep with yeah. my foot up like so, uh, yeah, yeah me too so, so 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 do the ties tie the pillow to themselves <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh-huh so number six the movie um pillow talk in 1959 the actor wasn't rock hudson it was no. tony randall oh, yeah. oh. tony who tony um, randall he slugged somebody yeah, so there were three there were three stars of the movie. Rock Hudson, Doris Day, and um Tony Randall. He was the he was the one that got slugged, is what the Yes. Uh-huh. Tony Randall. Rock Hudson slugged Tony Randall. No, it was a it was a truck driver or someone. They said someone punched him. But Tony Randall, he was actually knocked unconscious during the scene. I think they wow. kept it. Number seven. Um, the fancy pillow cover is called a sham. Oh, it's not a slip sham. cover. A sham. I think some people got the sham. Wow. The fancy sham. Uh, I was just going to say that. Yeah, wow. Sham. <laughs> the um, the well, gee, pillow the Egyptians, we of the the Egyptians would call it a sham rock. Yeah. Yeah. The international pillow size of king is 20 inches by 36 inches. Yes. Oh my oh gosh. God. We were wrong. I think wow. Got, wow. Yes. What's, what's really I think the short size end. Size pillows are really big. 36. It well, I really know big. that we asked uh, if anybody knew the size of a king size bed and we got the answer six feet across. So the two pillows fit on a king size pillows on a king size bed. Mm -hmm. That's what Carl That's said, too. Maybe if you're a bit imperial. Nobody measure. listened to me. <laughs> yeah, and what's, um, what, what's weird here is uh, we use the metric system, centimeters and millimeters, but bedding is in inches. So we use 36-inch pillows. And pipes, like um, PVC plastic pipes, is all in inches here. So we mix. It's, it's very odd that we, we mix the um You think like in 500 the, years, there'll still be all these legacy things that... Although mm -hmm. the whole world has gone metric, they're still using inches for those stupid things. Yeah, so why do we have two liter bottles? The whole world and, to follow us in America. In, in five hundred years, of... the, the apes who succeed us will have a different system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could be um, I think number gonna nine. Be, I think it's going to be nine? raccoons. <laughs> 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 number nine. Oh. Thailand is the world's number one producer of latex rubber. Oh, rubber or latex. Oh. Fact, um, not, if we latex. put foam rubber, is that acceptable? Yeah, that's fine. Rubber. So rubber. About just foam. There, so but there's not an overpopulation of Taiwanese because of uh, or um, <laughs> I, because of the latex. Yeah, well, here the um, I mean, my the island where I live is filled with rubber tree plantations, and wow. we just go down the street and we see thousands of rubber trees, and they're collecting the sap off the rubber trees and you see them harvesting so our what islands are pillows ay, ay, ay. So, so we have jamie, a, we, jamie we but, said foam, foam is that is that enough it has to be rubber because foam could be uh, other materials uh -huh. it has to be it's a natural rubber or latex mm, interesting yeah so uh yeah the uh the rubber in the, the rubber plantations in Southeast Asia was one of the reasons why Japan wanted to take over that part of the world. So, well, that's why the French, the French took over Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam. It yeah. was it was for the Michelin company. Michelin wanted rubber for the yeah. tires, mm. and so the French occupied that area. Initially, other than for opium, but it was for mm -hmm. to steal all their rubber for car tires. In Liberia, Africa, to um. The rubber from the rubber trees is a big industry yeah. and firestone tires is based there yeah yeah here is um, michelin i'm not surprised there's lots of rubber in thailand i just i'm surprised it's in our pillows <laughs> yeah i think i mean 70 percent of the world's well those have latex in them yuck the latex. it's very unappealing 
And it's cheap here. I was hoping it was down. No. And latex is cheap here. We have a latex, mat latex mattress. And it's very, very inexpensive here. Because they manufacture it here down the street, basically. I guess it's so. Very so, and the bonus, the uh, the pillow stuffing. Number 10. Oh, you forgot you didn't, 10. Yeah. you didn't do 10. Oops, I'm sorry, number 10. Um, oh, Mike Lindell. The, uh, what makes the my pillow unique? It's filled with a shredded polyurethane foam that interlock, and so that they have a it has like an adjustable support. So it's the type of stuffing that's used. It's a special stuffing that adds extra support, unlike other pillows. So if you said so, anything like unique type of stuffing, yeah, it's or, irregular. It's like broken up, ripped up pieces that kind of stuffing lock instead of potato. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <awful>. <laughs> So, so that's we can't it. say because it's lumpy. So, <laughs> yeah. So Jamie. Yes. I mean, from its physical feel, regardless of what's in it, the big difference is it's lumpy. It's not yeah. a smooth surface. Is that not good enough? Um, it's I mean, very lumpy. That makes it that makes it unique. Not yeah, on my no, team, it, so no. The irregular shapes inside. They're just like torn, yeah, would, ripped would, up yeah. pieces. They're yeah, not would, sharp and uniform, and they're yeah, not like I would, round I would or anything. The lumpiness, yeah, because Thank these you. are interlocking polyurethane foam pieces and you could remove some or add some and they lock in place so you could adjust so it's a very lumpy pillow so yes i would accept Thank you. lumpy it's the same same idea so why lumpy. would you want a lumpy pillow who knows when it's never i slept on one for about four years happen. until i just recently got rid of it i actually liked it because my you know your ear can go into a space so it doesn't push up on the wrong place yeah yeah can you use my good. pillow Rob? I did. Friends were telling me I should burn it. And I said, how is that going to hurt anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I, hurt the I, air quality. They are selling them for like $2 at my shop, right? And they will not even pay $2 to give them any money to buy another one. Jeez. Uh, okay, check. number, number and bonus. The, bonus, the um, pillow stuffing produced by NASA in X66 is memory foam. Yes. That's what we have. Do we have that? Do we have that? Yeah, yes. we got that. Yeah. Like, yes. like, ten, like tempur -Pedic. So you have to air out. When you buy a tempur mattress mm -hmm. or any um, pillow, you have to open it up and air it out for days to get rid of these. Yeah, not just the pillow. We have like a like a, a topper, a pillow, you know, a, a mattress topper. And every time I yeah. roll it open, it stinks. So it's have... all these materials. Yeah, the toxic. You have to be careful. I've been using a tempur pillow for like years, and I never did that. Yeah. Is that explains, explains a lot of it. This explains head. Head. Yeah. It's too late now. I always wondered about it. It, it causes okay. plants to grow out of the top of your Here, head. It makes you lose your hair. <laughs> and it gives you this. Where the sprout yeah, came I mean, from. you always lose your hair. Well, that was really interesting, Jamie. That was very interesting. I, I'm going to find a way to use that somewhere. That was in. I, I know. All about I would think everybody would put a, some sort of pillow or, you know, leaves or something. I can't imagine there would be a time people didn't use. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's, when, I, when I've gone camping, they use their I tend, kids. I tended to shove the uh, uh, shove some clothing into the uh, sack for holding the uh, the sleeping bag and use that as the pillow. <laughs> yeah, of course. I've done that. All right, so let's go through our categories here. I, I mean, our teams. A monkey holding a pager is called a baboon. <laughs> Three. Three. I thought we did better than that. What do Alice, Jason, and Lillian Carter have in common? I think we have seven. Is that right? Ooh, so right. You know your pelvis. Yeah, seven. Seven. Helene, seven. don't take my roof just because you can. <laughs> Four? Caroline, you're on mute. Okay. Four. The many sides of cat. Seven. I want to see cat. Yeah. Let's see your sides. <laughs> it hurts. All right, it's five point three oh, is a very Halloween. good category. Five point three is a really terrific category. I like the way everyone's pronouncing Helena. Helene. Helene. Yeah, Helene. It's Helena. 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 The song. It's Helena. Song is, the song is supposed to be Jolene, so it's got to be a name like Helene. Oh, Helene. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it doesn't make the song Helene, Helene, Helene. Sure. It's supposed to be Jolene, right? Yeah. Am I wrong? 
No, you're right. Helena, 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 Helena like wouldn't fit. Helena, Helena. <laughs> That's Carl's I'm facing the camera. It must be time. Carl. Yeah. Scary. We're in trouble With his now. fancy new camera. Yep. Brand That's new. Good, camera. good resolution and everything. Very good. Yep. Everybody According. Uh, one sec. New camera. She's got a beautiful new camera on hers. Mm -hmm. What's your There's an official. There's an official pronunciation guide for the hurricanes, and according to um, Noah, it's um, Helene. It's Helene. Yeah. Helene. Helene. Uh, Hel um, yeah, it's Helene. Yeah, and and Noah is in charge of predicting floods, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Among other things. <laughs> Go ahead, Carl. Get us out of this 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 world. Go, world. Carl. All right. Mystery common theme round for 26 September 2024. All, all of these answers, uh, the answer in another light has have something in common with each other. Okay, that makes sense. But a mystery, so you're not telling. All right, so here we go. Muting everyone, boom. Number you can't one. Mute me. Yeah, well. This planet was first visited by Pioneer 11. Number two. This company was one of the meme stocks pumped up by Keith Gill, AKA Roaring Kitty. It shares its name with an unrelated cable channel. Number three. Cinnabar is the most common ore for this element. Number four. The site of the colony founded in 1620 by the Mayflower Pilgrims, where New England was first established. Number five. The second major gig this group performed at was the Woodstock Festival. They were formed out of former members of the Hollies, the Birds, and another group. Number six. Wait, so is the question there the because uh, another group or the group this 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 group was performed at woodstock the next sentence describes that group that i'm asking the question about okay number six this is an american rock band from champaign illinois best known for their number one hits keep on loving you and can't fight this feeling <laughs> Number seven, this fighter plane manufactured in St. Louis has been in continuous production since 1972. It has over 100 aerial victories with zero losses. I need at least the fighter's official nickname. Number eight, this was an Ottawa chief known for his role in the war named for him from 16, 1763 to 1766 leading Native Americans in an armed struggle against the British and the Great Lakes region. There are numerous cities in the U.S. and Canada named for him, including one in Michigan. Number nine. In 2010, this company merged with Black & Decker to form a newly named company combining the predecessor company names. And finally, number 10. This was an American business executive and philanthropist who was the only child of pioneering industrialist Henry Ford and his wife, Clara Jane Bryant Ford. He was the president of Ford Motor Company from 1919 until his death in 1943. And go forth and break out. Wow. There's Nathaniel. There are some who can ask you. <laughs> oh no. We need his help. Let me see if he's we have no Carl either. Oh no. Oh no, you guys are we're in trouble. We really are. I don't uh, know. Uh yeah, why isn't he here? Let me go to the main. Can you text him? Oh yeah. Totally us now. <laughs> and Janine also. 
Yeah, where's Janine? Oh, yeah. I knew we were really small. Yeah. Uh-oh. Burking to the booth. Here comes Carl. Oh, oh we you. don't have Janine or Nathaniel. Are they in the main room? Uh, let's see. Um, Deborah, can you be secretary? Janine says she's not oh, joined. Frank. I don't. Can you go see back to the main not... room? Why there... can't I... Um, let me go back to the main room. Mm -hmm. Um, well, there she is. Oh, there she is. Well, where's Nathaniel? Nathaniel was still in the room, the main room, mm -hmm. too. You might go see if he yeah, had... Yeah, see if he had trouble getting here. Although he got here bef fine before. Yeah, Carl, yeah, go I... see. You can give yeah, Carl, him, uh... can you go check on him? You can give him permissions if you have to. Uh... Yeah, I didn't know what... I should have asked before I left. I had to go close my doors and... Every time um, I get up, Trask just... Oh, he, he just checks that he can't find the breakout room. And so, Can you go help him, Carl? Just put um, him in here. I'm trying to figure out how to get back yeah, to the room. Yeah, I don't see how I can get back to the main room. He just... Mm. Um, let me just... Um... Here he is. Oh, good. He got hey, it. I'm sorry. We were trying to figure out how to go rescue We you. were going to go... Rescue you. I'm sorry I didn't ask when I left. Well, it was I probably hot. was the breakout room hidden behind another screen. Nathaniel, I don't know. It just I just couldn't find. I just <laughs> didn't know where those. Yeah, sometimes was. it like you if you find it in the chat one screen, it might be hidden somewhere. Well, I was looking at the chat. Suddenly, it just sort of popped up on the screen. Okay. After okay. a few minutes, you'll get it. That works because we need your help. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be if no help. Any ideas? Because okay, number I'll be right one, back. I'm gonna go. Planet was first visited by Pioneer Eleven. Isn't any... that Mars? I think Mars I is the only one we've ever Venus. landed a thing on. Yeah. And um, except I'm sort of thinking, I, I can't remember what the first lander was called. And I think it was, anyway, I think it's Mars. I don't, isn't I don't think we've visited any other planets. But I was thinking that they by visited does he mean um like actually going there or just circling it because i was thinking the pioneer thinks like well, they're well, the that one is the problem because i think i think the i think the lander that landed on mars back in 1966 I think that was called the Viking. So, mm -hmm. I was thinking pioneers were were just doing flybys. Then it could be anything. Yeah, was either Venus or Jupiter. If it's oh. what I was thinking, but I'm not sure. Well, we it's couldn't really thing. visit either one of those because they don't really have. I mean, right. We just dropped something into Jupiter, and I, I don't think we've done anything like that on yeah, Venus. So, it's just a bunch of so gas. The definition of, of visit is so yeah, weird. I, okay, that was throwing me off because flying by, um, we did okay, If this is a theme round. I was just going to ask, is it is there a theme that would then, if we could figure it out. It says a mystery. Us, or, or there just isn't, and it's just random. Mystery common theme round 26. Right. So, so, so let's like see what else minerals. goes with it. So number two, this company was one of the meme stocks pumped up by Keith Gill, a.k.a. Roaring Kitty. It shares its name with an unrelated cable channel. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what any of that is. I think yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know either. what it means. I'm trying to think what <laughs> meme stock. The only meme stock right now I can think of is the Trump uh, mm. uh um 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cinnabar. Hi. Most I didn't know what Cinnabar is. For this element. Oh, Cinnabar. Cinnabar is really common. We see Cinnabar out where we go. Yeah. Sean and I go out walking. It's, it's, it's some, like iron or something. Um, I think, let's see. Silver, gold. I don't think it was silver or gold. I think it's iron. <clears throat> silver iron. Maybe. Um I this is did three. a category a long time ago that, that there's very little elemental iron, but it, it would have number to come three. from an ore, I guess. So number three might be iron till we think of something yeah. else. Yeah. Maybe. I'm, I guess I'm trying to think because yeah, we would march around. I brought a bunch of cinnabar but i'm thinking it was radioactive oh like the cinnabar thing would be like uranium maybe or uranium? i don't think it was uranium it wasn't I like don't super... think it's radioactive Unless there's some know. of that in utah i don't know about anywhere else um so for or is that, could that be as, as as simple as plymouth rock yeah that's what i think it's right. plymouth rock yeah I think so okay Sometimes you sometimes you talk yourself out thinking, oh, that's too obvious. <laughs> I see, maybe it's like I know the reason. answer, so that can't be right. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that one. <laughs> so these Such all sound confidence. like they're all Mars, you know, like the um, Mars Red things iron, rocks. and rocks. And right. And isn't that elements what, what he's into? Okay, so I wouldn't know what Carl's into. <laughs> well, I don't know. It seems like he I so number five is going to be a group. That it's got a like a rock sound to it, or a... I think it's Led Zeppelin. Oh, oh that makes sense. Good one. Were they at Were they at Woodstock? Oh no! Well, You're it was only their second gig. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Rock. I well, remember Led Zeppelin's like only two been... guys. I just right? remember. Let's go back to cinema. Yeah, I remember like because... one of them was from from the Yardbirds. Can you? What does the question actually say? Uh, the number four. Oh no, number five. This second major gig this group performed at was the Woodstock Festival. They were formed out of former members of the Hollies, the Birds, and another group. So that means at least three people, and Led Zeppelin is two people. Is it literally just two people? No. Well, I mean, they but, probably have a band, but well, then they have a band that counts. That's part of the group. Well, have you so ever heard any of their names? LED. Well, no, <laughs> but, you know, LED. But that's a, you know, oh, sorry, but I mean, those who play the <laughs> the instruments and don't sing are members of the band. Well, Zeppelin is Led Zeppelin's a multiple people. There's a whole bunch. Yeah, of yeah, the yeah. Band. No, I think that's a great guy. Page and plant. Can we go back to three? I think three. I'm very sure that. That cinnabar was something toxic, and I don't think it was radioactive. I'm thinking it might be mercury. Uh oh. Okay. And that's a planet, too, right? <laughs> Ooh, you're right. Oh, you know, actually, mercury could be the answer to number one of the planet if we're do doing minerals and rocks. Mercury is the only one that's an element or a rock. Yeah. Or something. I think so that's I think right. number one is probably mercury. What? Yeah, one is mercury. So well, we didn't mercury, visit Mercury. So could Mercury <laughs> be the answer to one and three? Yeah. No, I don't think so. But I think I Mercury do. is the answer to number one now. Wait, so I pi, think that could be pi, the answer to both. Went to went to Mercury. We don't know where Pioneer I, went I to. I think it did a flyby because it got boosted. Maybe. All right. Um. Six. Okay, number six. This is an American rock band from Champaign, Illinois. It's best known for their number one hits, Keep On Loving You and Can't Fight This Feeling. That would be... It's real funny. The question... I recognize those songs. Let me think. Can't Fight This Feeling. <laughs> I don't think that's it. <laughs> Keep on loving you. It that's not the Eagles. It's um. It's got to have a mineral or rock in its name. I think is what we're thinking. 
Yeah. Campaign Illinois. Um, could be the Rockettes. <laughs> oh, God, that's bugging me. Okay. Oh, um... Do we know the fighter plane manufactured in St. Louis? Continuous production. It's been in continuous production since 1972. With Over zero losses. Victories with zero <laughs> losses. Name at least the fighter's official name. At least. I guess there's more to it than that. Fighter plane. Well, there's those. Look at this category, so. There's those F, what you call it, is there's like a whole bunch of them. And then there's. Uh, yeah, I don't know too much about fighter planes. Okay, number eight is about a war chief, an uh, Ottoan war chief. War chief, known for his role in the war, named for him. Sitting Bull? No. Later. <laughs> Sitting Bull was like 100 years later than that. Yeah. Um, this was the one where the um, the, the natives helped the, the revolutionaries. Oh, it was the French Indian War. Mm -hmm. The what? The French Indian War and in that was in Canada, right? Um, I don't think it was that one. It was they they helped the revolutionaries um, against the British, uh -huh. and, and there's and I'll see a city name from oh, in wait, Michigan. The question is not what Michigan. Is, it's the um, the chief's wait the chief's name. Yeah. Maybe it was Detroit. <laughs> but it shouldn't a, it be a, a mineral that sounds name? Like, yeah, that sounds maybe. like more of a French word, though, huh? Uh, it's mineral, yeah. Um, Standing Rock? <laughs> I was actually just reading about the Standing Rock, you know, um, oil pipeline protest just last night. Yeah. Brain. Let me ask John about the Black and Decker. Oh, yeah. It's funny that it says that a number nine about the Black and Decker merging with something else to form uh, and it had a combined company name because isn't that what Black and Decker is? Yeah. Yeah. Decker. Combining so, of a longer combining of uh, combining a longer name. combined double combined. Yeah, they maybe they took some letters out of oh, each one. Carl, we had a question on number one when you say this planet was first visited by Pioneer Eleven. By visited, like, what does that mean? Like, landed or flew by or uh, took pictures. <laughs> yeah, flew by. Flew okay, by so it did not have to technically. It did no, it doesn't mention didn't landing. Yeah, no. Okay, all right. Um, because that was a little debate. Uh, so Black and Decker merged with something else. I'm sorry. Yeah. The so Black and Decker end and. Um, <laughs> what's that luxury item? John or said home. that the Black and Decker company was DeWalt. Something DeWalt. like like Cold Stone or something. What was oh DeWalt? That that actually makes a lot of sense. Okay. So the only other one I know the name of is Makita, but I don't think that would be it. DeWalt. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really. They got a Makita baby. Okay, how does that fit the theme? That's well, what I was wondering. Wrong, you could be wrong about the theme. Well, I suppose. Yeah, that's possible too. American business executive number ten. This was an American business executive and philanthropist who was the only child of pioneering industrialist Henry Ford and his wife Claire Jane Bryant Ford. He was the president of Ford Motor Company from 18, 1919 until his death in nineteen forty three. So the question is the name of 
of well, his last name's Ford, second. so what would his first yeah. name be? Me, Mr. Ford. <laughs> Rocky um, Ford. So Henry Ford's son. Yeah. Who's probably Henry too, but he's probably yeah, he's probably Henry too. Yeah. Well like, then that doesn't make sense. Then it was just Henry Ford. Yeah. Well, what did okay so by saying it was the only child with Henry Ford and his wife Claire Jane? Did he have another wife that he had other children with? I don't know. No, the question, question is just Henry, Henry Ford. Ford's only son. So it's the only son. Period. Only, only child. child. So so Junior does make sense, but that that just seems like an odd question. Yeah. I mean, well, it, you it know, could be a trick question. It's possible no. that they had a child that died at birth and they were named that one Henry and then they had to pick well, a different name for the not next Not everybody one. names their children after themselves. Yeah. Right. It could no, be that's true. Else. I mean, it could be, I, I I just don't know. Um I don't know anything. What's the popular name of that time that would be a male name? Well, Charles. Henry. Because the whole point is Charles it's not a Lord. common name. And then what it what would be kind of a like a rock or mineral or they didn't we it may not be people. on to the right yeah i wouldn't have be. named his son rock or something as <laughs> older i mean obsidian those... ford obsidian. <laughs> okay so granite ford <laughs> i don't know i feel like we should have granite in here somewhere sandstone uh, Ooh. probably um, should uh, start the countdown soon. No, <laughs> no, not yet. Oh, That's too soon. The team. We've got How's everybody else doing, left. Carl? Uh, better than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's normal for me, but they need to, they need to visit. We Let's we want see. some social bonding. Besides, we had two people that were came in late. We oh, come on. Now, number six, we should know this. We know these songs. Keep on loving you. Can you repost that one? My, mine cuts off with just the last line. Okay, number six. Which one? Number six. Number six. This is Ameri an American rock band from Champaign, Illinois, best known for the hits, keep on loving you and can't fight Thank this you. feeling. It isn't the Eagles, is it? No. Yeah. Um, Champagne. I love the idea of the Rockettes, it's, but it's not that. It's, it's, <laughs> and I can hear it. Ah, oh, dang it. I know, I can hear both songs. Um, I don't want to something, something. I don't want to something, something else. I just want to keep on loving you. Yeah. Um, Good songs. Catchy. It's a good song. It was a really good song. <laughs> yeah. Catchy, so it's not the know. cars. No. There's something more like bread, but that wasn't it either. But cream? No. Now somebody oh, was you know, the guy theme could that's... be cars. What's that? The theme could be cars, Plymouth. Oh, but then Mercury. It's not the oh yeah, yeah. A Plymouth. Oh my God, you're right. Oh, very good. Very good, Nathaniel. Okay, yeah, so so, that, but, so there's probably Mercury then. So right? the song oh, is well, yeah. bigger. I'm very sure that three is Mercury. Yeah. So, Avery and I would tramp through that stuff and he was Mars, then the So this uh, plane yeah. is a plane named after a car is a um I feel like I know which one this is. A fighter plane that also had the name of a car was a... Oh, number seven? Yeah, it was... We're getting caught up on this. It is a plane that has the same name as the car, and we probably know it, because I swear... And I, um, I think uh, eight is Pontiac. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, good job, Deborah. Oh, that totally makes sense. It's yeah. an Indian word, and it's in Michigan. The cars? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's cars. It's cars. And the DeWalt? Yeah, the, the is theme car? is cars. So number um, two was the company. Uh, this company was one of the Memstocks, Memstocks, Memstocks by 
Keith Gill, aka I'm trying to remember what so, name Fox an, uh, well a thick unrelated cable channel that has a name that's like a, that's a car. Fox. Mm. Fox. Hot Fox. Oh we in. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, um Canadian and, cable companies that aren't just initials. Right, exactly. Um Mm -hmm. And that's a name of a car. <laughs> what about some of those? Um, there isn't those a fancy, car named Fox. Like HBO and what are some of those other ones? Nova. I'll give you, I'll give you a Nova's a car. Nova's a car. Nova. No, no, Nova's a car. Yeah. Is that a TV? Is there a TV channel? There's a. Like oh, Nova. Hulu. Nova. Hulu. No. Nova. There's a Nova. Yeah. I think Nova's a great guess. But is Nova a TV channel? It's a show for sure. Okay, well, whatever. Um, whatever. <laughs> what is somebody's name that could have been the Ford's child that also is a car? I know his name is Model T. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Studebaker. Good old model. Well, well Ford. It would have to be a Ford model. It would have to be something made by Ford. What was made by Ford? Oh. That's a, like one of the daughters. Oh, you mean he had more than one? No, no I'm child. just talking about the, the Edsel was named after a family member, but I thought it was a daughter. Could uh -huh. Edsel Ford the car from be a the child? Was, could that was be a Edsel boy? a Ford? Wasn't well, it? Was Edsel a, could Edsel. I think it was. Which number is this now again? Ten. Yes. Ten. I oh. would put Edsel. Okay. Okay, that's great. Good, good, good. Um. All right, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to long. close rooms in two minutes. Are okay. we closing them in two? Oh, oh, I'm initiating the fuse six, now. Six, the rock six, band. Seven. We've got to be able to know that. And I know. Seven um, is the fighter plane. I'm let no me kidding. ask John. Fighter plane. Rock band. And now we know that it's the name of a car. I swear it's Eagles. But there is no eagle car, is there? There's no eagle car. Although that kind of surprises me. <laughs> should be. Uh, yeah, there should be, huh? Actually, actually, no. I think there wasn't. There was an eagle car. Actually. Is there a Cadillac? Yeah, a, I think Jeep made one. Was there a, a group a, a music group called Cadillac? What about I'm Aztec? Put, that was a terrible car. <laughs> I'm going to put eagle. I don't think that's right, but um, okay, they so did. Then, there is a. Well, we're running out of time, so. Seven, uh, the fighter plane. Um, that's the name of a car. I like place. Eagle. One minute. Mm. Eagle is a, the, is a uh, oh, um, airplane and also is a Jeep model of a Jeep. Yeah. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yes. So Eagle, said, Eagle. What about the fighter plane? Something hawk. Eagle, possibly. Eagle. Oh, that's a car. Hawk? No. Um, seven. Seven. Go put, with. Put a fighter pilot. Put the eagle on there too, because we're almost out of time. Okay. Um. Well, it can't that's be. That's not it. Forward. But I can't think of what it would be. Yeah, it can't be. Forward. Oh, I thought that was. I would put eagle there. What about fighter? Well, did we ever have a car called that? Matador. Um, Dotson. Dotson. You know, all those violent. Dotson. 240Z. <laughs> than we a, branding, a branding iron? We okay. finally figured out the theme. Okay. We've been done for about a month now. Whatever. Yeah, great. <laughs> Whatever. All right. We've been done since 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Lee? For one, Saturn. Yay. Number two, AMC. Excellent. Oh, is that, how is that a... American okay. Motor Company. American Motors' <laughs> full name is American Motors Corporation. Yeah, Gremlin, Pacer. Number three, Mercury. Yes. Well, Cinnabar was a given. That's Rain that's, Man. That's the, that's the Buick Roadmaster from Rain Man. Mm. Oh, Tom Cruise. Which is the wrong Tom thing Chris. I put in there by mistake, so ignore that. Oh, yeah. I'm an excellent driver. 
Number four, Plymouth. That's, uh, that's Plymouth Rock right there. Plymouth. See that little rock underneath the the gate? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. Plymouth Rock. No way. The, what? Yes, it is. Plymouth Rock. Wait, what the hell is that on the back of the car? That is that is a, a spoiler. A spoiler. <laughs> Aerodynamic. That, that particular car was is the Roadrunner. The body was made specifically to qualify it for NASCAR racing, and the body plan had to match what the actual race car was, and. The spoiler, as originally designed, prevented the trunk from opening because it was too low. So they made it that high. <laughs> that's a roadrunner. Uh, yeah, that's a roadrunner. Those are very expensive. That's, that's almost as ugly as uh, as Elon's new uh, thing. Yeah. Cybertruck. Number yeah. five, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and yeah. Young. Nice. Oh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Go on, Crosby, Kevin. Stills, and Nash. Yeah. If, if I if we have, have to have Young. You do not have to have Young. I'll take Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Okay. Nash is the important part. Yes. Yeah. It was a cute car. Number six, REO Speedwagon. Hey, I got oh, it right. that was I the the answer. Answer. When, Oh, when, my God. You guys, when, I'm when sorry. Olds, when General Motors bought Oldsmobile, Ransom Eli Olds went and formed another car company and made the REO Speedwagon. Those and people, knew, aren't knew, they unattractive? Look at them. The F-15 Eagle. Oh, nice. Yay! We got some. Yeah, we did Eagle a team what, effort. Eagle oh. is what American Motors got renamed after Chrysler bought them. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Pontiac, that's right. I forgot about that. Number eight. F-15 Eagle. Yay, Pontiac. Number nine, Stanley. Yes. Yeah, right. Black and Decker, and now they are Stanley Black and Decker, although they still use Stanley and Black and Decker brand names. For oh. oh, man. Good, I didn't know. good, good call, guys. Language. Number 10, John Ed is fired. Ford, right next to a Ford Edsel. Yep. Good job, Nathaniel. <laughs> yeah, God, very good. All of these are defunct car brands that no longer <laughs> exist. Ah, ben. Ah, yeah. Kyle, would you will you put them in the chat too? Uh I don't know what Kyle will, but I certainly will do. <laughs> <laughs> it's catching, Susan. Uh, <laughs> you do it? Did you just do it? Eagle shit. <laughs> Just me. Okay. That feels good. Okay. We got we got that they were car names, but we but 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 we missed that they were de all defunct. The pattern. Oh, I should have known. Mario that. Speedwagon, you guys, come on. We should have known. Eagle. I can't find the well, speed. You're confusing on. Kyle and Carl. When my son Kyle was born. I call my brother and I says we named him Kyle and he said Carl why the hell would you name him Carl because <laughs> we had a friend named Carl who was a big religious weirdo and I said not Carl Kyle <laughs> so it's a long so standing this, problem a long time, 20 30 years ago I had this conversation Kyle do you get this problem all the time outside of trivia you know, there's an interesting one when I'm here in LA a lot of people of uh, Mexican heritage will say Kile yeah mm. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna call my son that now. Hey, Keeley, waiting for your order, and they're just calling for Keeley, and you're standing there. <laughs> Is Keeley an actual Spanish name? No, it's I've just never the way they, Kile. It's just the way you pronounce K Y L. Right, but I was just wondering if makes sense. If, well, it's like my husband's name is Raul, and he's called Raul all the time. Well, Raul is a Spanish Raul. name, right? right? Exactly, but that's not his name, and it's he spells it R A W L E, Raul. Uh, but he gets called Raul because people have heard of that name and nobody's heard of the name Raul. I've I would say Raul like a spur. <laughs> well, that's interesting. All right. So let's go over to the scores. Good job. That was a clever Carl. one. Carl. That was clever. Uh, I'm cool. glad my team managed to pull out a few more points than it looks It's like so it funny the way for the longest time we thought the theme was rocks or minerals. Well, it's kind of. Which it's seems like so far. <laughs> So then, you know what? That is a good, that's a good way of uh, messing with people. You Put should hear like how that. Ramiro is saying your names right now with the Spanish accent. Janine, you're <laughs> hilarious. You're Hianine. Hianine? Yeah. Because you don't pronounce the name. I was told my actual name would be uh, Juanita. Juanita. It would be, yeah. Yeah. But Am I El Gato? El Gato. Probably, uh, La Gata. La Gata. <laughs> And Susan keeps pronouncing my name the Spanish way, Celia. Well, isn't that mm -hmm. how you say your name? Well, no, it's actually Celia, but it's okay. <laughs> I accept both ways. Celia? Uh, but yeah, 
So Susan, you, you didn't watch it yet. Our mom you, calls us. you didn't watch it yet. And Karen's not here, but last week I made a special video just to push back on uh, people saying I was pronouncing the name of San Junipero incorrectly. So you're going to like And it. you are, and I don't care Absolutely what you do, the videos you made. <laughs> I, I'll make another one for you. It said six times by six different characters in it, and they all say San Junipero. And they're all wrong. So and, all and, wrong. and if you say, if you say, hey, to my, to my remote control, you know, voice activated, play me... San Junipero. It doesn't know what I'm talking about. If I say, no, because San that's Junipero wrong too. It's the Nippero. <laughs> nope. I, I wouldn't even know what you you're know, talking about. No, at some point, about. usage dictates things, and uh, yeah. even if it's literally the worst thing that ever happened to the English language. Okay, let's do scores. So, a monkey holding a pager is called a baboom. Eight. Eight. Wow. You're showing off wow. now. Elena, don't take my roof just because you can. Nine. Ooh, Helene, mm. Helene. All right. What did Alice, Jason, and Lillian Carter have in common? Five. Which one Definitely did we get five wrong? In common? Mm -hmm. I'm Carl's shocked team. at five. Yeah, which one did we get wrong? Wait, which team are you talking about? We're talking about I'm Alice, Jason, and Lillian Number Carter. seven we got wrong. Okay. Okay, cat. Okay, so the many sides of cat. We only got ten. Yep. Only. <laughs> only ten. Not ten. <laughs> uh, we got five. So that was wow. You got to make it harder. Oh, that was eight, eight points. Wow. Okay, so let's take a photo. That's Everybody such a spread. So far, the theme is the team I'm on is the worst yeah. shape. <laughs> <laughs> but that's always to be expected You're because. The person who wrote the category who would be the best at it has gone, and the person who is always the worst at everything is on the team. <laughs> and you should know what is the rule? You know, I'm going to be on your team, so you should write categories that you know I know because uh, yeah. you know you have at least one. But we've category. done those, we did those three categories already. Did Wikipedia so, and your team fail? Yeah, but you or the other rule, the other rule, we, never we did those three categories already. Round. So, what else can we do? Just put a blank, blank sheet up. Oh, come on, Avi, what the heck's going on with you? I'm trying to fix my camera, but now all of a sudden everything is um, nice, uh, shining. I know it's, that the, lights in the, it's the lights in the back, Avi. Uh, yeah, Abby is now been... in a J.J. Abrams movie, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> more, Let's more, get more, ready for the photo. Or an attractive woman in the original Star Trek show with the soft filter on. Where's Faith? Yes. Faith. I, just let... I, thought, I thought we took the picture already. No, no I haven't taken the uh, picture. Oh. Faith, Faith took her kitty and ran. And where, where's Kyle? We're Faithless. Oh, no. I'm right here. <laughs> Hi, oh, wait, here, no. but Brandy's supposed to be showing up. I can. Oh, Brandy, it. that's Brandy. Okay. You like me? Brandy. No, it's oh, Faith. No, there's. Oh, wait a second. Take it now. Take it now, please. Thank you. I'm waiting for Brandy's picture to show. You guys, calm down. Hold on, <laughs> Brandy. Yeah. Okay, hurry <laughs> up. <laughs> hurry up. Okay, <laughs> ready? One, two, three. Smile, Katniss. Okay, I think I got you guys. <laughs> Brandy got here just in time for the photo. <laughs> right. What effect was that? That was awesome. I want that. That was what? like a disco effect. I oh, love yeah, that. Yeah, rock on. That was the laser Floyd effect. Does it work when you have a virtual background, though? Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Wait, what are you guys doing? That's Look so at cool. What Romero just did. That's and awesome. Did that too. What are you doing? I want that. So that means that's that happens um, on a Mac. When you have you're using the 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 built-in camera, and you turn reactions on, so, um, Faith, if you look at the 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 top of your screen, you'll see a little FaceTime, um, uh, uh they did it already. They did it. I know, but I can't get it to go off. So you do something like this. Oh, <gasps> I did do this. I've been doing this the whole. It just did it. It just did oh, it. That is so cool. How did she do that? Not letting me do it. There we go. Oh man, that's it's just on Max. Max. I'm gonna have to buy a Mac. That's yeah, just yeah. worth the Max. Just on Max doesn't work on PC. I, 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 like, I, I, like this. I will be forced to have an iPhone here shortly against my own will. Anyways, everyone, five minutes. Rock on. Mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm. Okay. Peace. Good night. Good night, all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Faith and Ramiro, a question. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Um, when you guys are here, We're would you a like break. would you like sort okay, of a, no. a dry I can get would you like to spend a, a couple of hours doing a little driving tour? I can take you up the North Shore and stuff if you would like. Pull up oh, our yeah. schedule to see what day we have free. All yeah, right. We... So you'll have to let me know what your schedule is because I've got to schedule myself. We um, have and... when are you free? <laughs> yeah. Well, right now I don't think I'm doing all that much during that week, but uh, you know, I I I I I can I very quickly can f- fill in my days, so I just need to know what day to to keep you know keep free. What time do you think? Yes, we have Monday after twelve and Friday we have nothing like officially booked. Uh, when what, I was there, what, I went on the, the Chicago what tour that what we the fourteenth and the eighteenth. You talking about right. Chicago? Yes. When I was there, uh, Alan recommended a boat ride, and it was. But awesome. We're doing that Monday morning. At, oh, that was awesome. At ten a.m., I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've I've got reservations to Bavette Steakhouse on the night of the marathon, which were very difficult to get. Uh, stop licking my leg, please. Well, I'll tell you what. So you're going on the Monday. Uh huh. You're you're going. It's the Canadian Thanksgiving. Um, are you? Oh, it's a holiday too, um, which would be good to be easy. So you're taking the boat ride in the morning. In the mm-hmm. morning, yeah. Then you know what I could do? Well, I could pick you, and I'll bring Avi down. And uh, if if he's not doing anything, um, well, we can come. We'll pick you. We can pick you up at the boat, um, and uh, and take and we'll take a we'll take a little cook's tour. And then maybe uh, later I'm on, so the day, jealous. We can, I want to go. Go out for uh, the for pizza. I want to go. Yeah. Perfect, because we've we've had like some tentative food things, like but it was going to be like going to Starbucks and the McDonald's International one, the headquarters. You guys and... better take a photo. We are. Uh, well, we're not going to go any. Well, I don't think we're going to go anywhere near there. But uh, it's okay. But we've, I would take. Yeah, I, would, I usually take perfect. people along the lake shore. So really. recording. I mean, of course, a lot of that you'll have seen while you were running. But this Not is this, no, because we're um, we're running down. None of the race takes place on the lake shore. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna do that Saturday morning. Only I Jesus races run. on the lake. Is that is this Monday? We're talking about the Monday after the race. Yes, the 14th. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So so let's figure. Yeah, you'll you'll have to let me know what time the what time your your uh, your your boat tour is done. And we'll we can pick you up there, and we'll go we'll go uh, spend the afternoon. Okay, uh-huh. it's estimated to end around twelve. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, just let me know, and and uh, which one you're on too, and because uh, there are a couple, they're all pretty much in the same area, but I just yeah. uh, we so got I know or I'll, I'll tell you where where I'll meet you is what we'll okay. do. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, thank you, Alan. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna no, reach don't out thank, to you. Don't thank me till after. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna do the sky deck on Sears Tower that Friday. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. No, but I think yeah. the nicest thing, assuming the weather's half decent, it's uh, it's a it's a real nice ride uh, up. Go through a couple of really nice university campuses. You know, there's Loyola and Northwestern and stuff if you want. And it's okay. just it's just real pretty, and it's the high price spread going up the uh, up the North Shore. It's uh, you know, we can. Can we stop by the um? What is it? This is probably not feasible, but stopping by the Home Alone house. <laughs> um, I find out where it is because I, I believe that's a yes because I think we're um because that's on the North Shore. I got it. Mm-hmm. I got it. It's either uh the I know the the Wakita? I don't know exactly where it is, but the house Lincoln where Lincoln Avenue in Wakita or something like that. Uh, it, it's a Winnetka, I think. Uh, Wilma Wilmette or Winnetka. We're gonna go. We'd go up there, and there's also um the the um oh what's it called? Uh, except I've never found out exactly where it is. The the house where uh, um um in um uh, Ferris Bueller. Where the car goes through the window out the uh, garage, that's up there. I think that's up there too. Are but you guys still that's, talking that's, about that's, the Chicago? That's hidden off in the woods. Yes, because I went and saw the full house, house in San Francisco, and the Mrs. Doubtfire house. 
like I believe okay, both those houses were in trivia categories oh, yes, before. Karen. Okay, so then Faith, there's your assignment. Hi, Find the addresses, and uh, if, if they're on the North Shore, we'll, we'll, I think we'll it's, drive it's by. The full house, uh, not the full house, but the um, Bueller. home alone house, I think is either 607 or 610 Lincoln Drive. When whatever you that when Akita or whatever it well, is. Well, I know where Lincoln is anyway. It doesn't matter. It, I, it just get it that get the address. We'll go up there and 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 even if you wanted the high school where they filmed where they were standing in front at uh, when uh, when he picks up his what's whatever her name is at the school. Uh, that's that's um, that's that's one of that's a high school I actually do some teaching at. So oh, but, uh, yeah, I want to yeah. say something before before Susan yeah. you start again. Uh, I want to say, this is Karen Araujo. I want to say how lovely it is, first of all, that both of those houses were in previous trivia categories. And also that thanks go to you, Susan, for creating this group because friendships, real friendships have developed because I of know. it. And thank you for fostering the connections between all of us. She's so and sweet. Karen, you, yes, you pronounce, you. Karen, you pronounce that name wrong. It's Aroyjo. <laughs> we we're talking about how to pronounce. I found things, the Karen. address, Alan. Uh, you'll get it to me later. Yeah, yeah, people from all over. I just got my screen the strange um, skeptic crate. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, that's this. cute. Can you can you see it or is it blurry? Yeah. Oh, the uh, Richard, what's his name? Uh, it says the, my other the, car the in worm. RFK Gary. brain. That's scary. It's a little worm in a car. A mm -hmm. car. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy. The books scary. Which yeah, that's cute. That is really cute. Okay, scary. So that's right. Richard's scary. Yeah, is that his name? Yeah, yeah. the author of the those children's books. Those were very good. Yeah, they're great. Okay, here we go. My well, so mom actually made a little stuffed of the of animal worm. that worm. So Peggy's not here. I hope you guys sang happy birthday to her last week, like you're supposed to. No, I didn't know. I didn't. I forgot. Oh, all she she managed to skip it. She she was smart. She skipped it, and so she also just retired. So I guess she's not here tonight. Um, we did wish but, her a happy retirement, though. We did. Okay, we cool. Do that. Um, Carolyn, what's Carolyn? You see her? Yeah, there she is. Free Thought Day. Did you want to mention anything about Free Thought Day or what's going on up there in your Sacramento, Lodi, Stockton area up there? You're muted, darling. I got it. Thank you. So, yes. Yeah, so Free Thought Day is uh, on the Capitol lawn in, in Sacramento. Um, I'm going to have a table for NorCal skeptics. So it's representing all the Northern California skeptic groups. Please come. Uh, Jim Underdown is getting an award for his um, achievement in, sci in promoting science and reason. And it would be great to have some skeptics there to cheer him on. And this is October 6th, Sunday, October 6th. So. Okay. All right. So fantastic. Uh, Carolyn's also looks like she's got a venue for her skeptic camp. In yes, April. I have to finalize that. Yeah. But that looks like it's like that's done. That's half the battle. Oh my gosh. And you haven't got the day yet, right? Yeah, I have to um finalize it with them and I have to make sure, like I told you, to make, you know, we can have the food we want and that type of thing. Yeah. So. This is very exciting because because Carolyn's got got that just working on it. and and um also what's his face? Where is he? So I can make sure I'm looking at him so I know his name's right. <laughs> Kyle? Carl? <laughs> Carl. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Carl's looking at doing a skeptic camp. It's going to be pro probably, he's going to be the organizer from the group. Nobody else wants to do it. And other, we're going to look for volunteers to help him do it. So that'll be wonderful. This is so Carl as in um, uh, our Carl? Yeah. Uh, I'd be, be, wouldn't that be really nice if Chicago would do something? I, I would, if, if Carl's going to do it and my dad's willing to drive me or come with me, then we should go, dad, to visit the city. out to St. Louis. It's only like a five hour drive. Oh, well, that'd be great. Wouldn't that be great? Hey, okay. Avi, there's, there's some nice buses and trains. <laughs> hey, there's an Amtrak that goes straight right between St. Louis and Chicago. 
I might actually do that because um, that would be fun. And then I could also visit our family that's in St. Louis. There you go. See Don't how have the group gets together? That's wonderful. So, yeah, uh, let's get that together. Janine, I'm hoping to hear from you guys when you think you're going to do your skeptic camp because it's getting crowded. There's some other stuff happening that I can't talk about right yet. So um, we can't be in July, put it that way. Nobody's nobody's allowed to do anything in July. So anyway, lots of stuff. Monterey County Skeptics has already has our day. Our weekend is reserved. It's the first Saturday, that weekend, uh, first weekend of the year. It's reserved and ready to go. <laughs> and so, yeah, same with them. Um, and the Vegas Skeptics, October is all open. There's nothing happening in October for the next two years, as far as I know. So just FYI that you guys got it. If you want to plan it, you got it. Um, other um, things are uh, happening in other months. QED might happen again in October. Oh, yeah, that usually does happen in October. Yeah, but that's not in the United States. So, you know. Yeah, but I mean, I, I would go to QED <laughs> if, if, if. If it was in Vegas, you would go to Vegas. Yeah. Um, Avi, Avi. how it is. Avi, mark down uh, the 14th, uh, October 14th, because that's the, we're going to spend that afternoon um, with Faith and Faith Romero. And so get that in in your calendar. All right. So we got lots, lots to plan, lots to do. Um, Adrian, Kat, what's on the skeptic zone? He tells us as much as he tells you. <laughs> I, don't well, know. I, I do know the I'm going to be reading the newsletter and we mentioned Jonathan Jerry's recent video, which you should check out. It's really good about uh, our favorite fellow, uh, Mercola. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a it's a really good video, as well as I interviewed Erica Inglehop. So next week, that oh, nice on there, hopefully, if uh, I, I'm a little concerned because we talked about lady bits and I'm not sure how comfortable Richard will be about that, but well, good. I like that even better. <laughs> He's been married 30 years. I think he He's knows better. what they are. And and Eric and I talked about it. That's the problem. Nobody talks about it. So yeah, we, that's right. We right? need to start talking okay. about menopause and periods. Yeah. And Richard is married. Yeah. Years or something. <laughs> I yeah just with a wife and everything. He wears a wedding ring. How do you miss it? I don't know because he's always jet setting around the world. I just assumed he was jet setting alone. He is <laughs> the secret. Alone. The secret to a happy marriage, Avi. Yeah. <laughs> thirty wow. plus years. Yeah, twenty. I, he's at least thirty years. Yeah, she works in IT. Mm -hmm. She's um, her father was um from New Zealand and and lived in uh, California all the time. That's why Richard was coming to California so much because his father, his in laws were here. So, I, didn't, I didn't I didn't know Jimmy Kimmel was married until the last episode. His wife took yeah. over for a segment and ripped Trump a new one. <laughs> she was great. She was great. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see that. I haven't seen yeah, it. She's one of the writers on his show. Oh, oh. Is well, this, Kyle, what's new on the data the, skeptic? Kyle, well, Kyle is going to be speaking at my class next week. Oh, yeah. Anyway. yeah next Wednesday, I'll be doing the class presentation. Oh, oh that'll be really nice. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. And then recently on Data Skeptic, I've been out the uh, last couple weeks. So if I'm going to highlight one, it's uh, this recent one called Open Animal Tracks. I interviewed someone who's using mach machine learning to tell what animal made a particular track in a footprint kind Ooh. of situation and uh, how Ooh. accurate is it doing that. So that's the latest on Data Skeptic. Ooh, if you find out it's really proper. accurate, then you could check out if it can uh, tell the Bigfoot tracks. That's right. Yeah, that's oh, come up a little yeah. bit. Oh, very good. Uh, what about when they can do scat? <laughs> that's different. Because you know Karen's all into that. That's different. Sure, sure. Yeah. That's, that's a whole that's other different. interview. Yeah. Oh, Kyle, you were also name checked today in a conversation I was having um, with um, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. Carl. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with me, man. With Carl, that 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 they were we were talking about guest speakers for the for the fictional uh for the two yet to be determined what day um St. Louis Skeptic Camp and and uh, you and Leonard apparently did a really good talk at something that um AI they said that they that you would be the perfect person to have at their 
conference. So hopefully, I, I, in conversations could... I've had with people in the skeptical society, both both data and AI are very interested subjects to them. So you've been name checked. So not outside the room. FYI, all right. Cool. What, what 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 what's your month of May looking like? Um, interesting month for a couple of reasons, but let's just put maybe on it in general. Okay. Get into specifics. See, I'm telling you, Karen's. Oh, oh, oh I want to hear together. more about that. I want to hear more about that, Kyle. Oh, it not as scandalous as it sounded. Just. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. Darn, darn. Come up with some scandal. Yeah, um, right. So here, let me just give you my little brief little thing. Is that I just came back from this mentalism conference in in um, Dallas. I was kind of apprehensive about what was going to happen because it was my first time going to a mentalism conference. I'm not a magician. I'm not a mentalist. I've been to these two conferences before, but I was Mark Edwards' girlfriend. I was just somebody taking the money at the table. I wasn't anybody who was anything. So they gave me the uh, they gave me the uh, the keynote speech talk on Saturday night, and it, they wanted me to talk about Mark, and they wanted me to talk about psychics and the work we do in psychics and i was really apprehensive this is still these are magicians and mentalists so they're into bizarre magic you know carny uh seance all that stuff but they're still religious people a lot of them so i wasn't quite sure how they were going to respond to psychics and during one of the people's lectures he did one on how to get how to how to get ready for your you know how to prepare yourself to be able to do spook shows and seance and stuff like that. And he was, he was going to say, he was going to psychics and uh, preparing and he put up on the screen pictures of Thomas John. So he was going to see Thomas John to learn how psychics and stuff works. So it was very interesting. And um, then on Saturday night, when it was my turn to do the talk, I did a 45 minute montage of Mark and my history and what Mark and I did and what I continued to do. And it's mainly video clips. And I put the video up on my Facebook. I uh, know. Well, it is on Facebook because I just linked to it. But it's also on my YouTube channel, Psychics Explained, as well as Susan Gerbic YouTube channel. And it, I was blown away by my reception. Uh, Mark was extremely um, uh, memorialized. There was people talking about him multiple, multiple times in different talks. It was a really great conference for me. It was about 50 people. Very therapeutic. And they had, I joined a secret society. They put me in a secret society for mental. What, another so one? Weird. I know. Look, I got a, they gave me a, <laughs> it's wearing off now. They gave me a temporary tattoo, but they've got all you, the stuff. They gave me a. Are you allowed to show us the tattoo? <laughs> yeah. It's all wearing off now. Are you uh, allowed to tell us what the name of the society is? I don't, it's in Latin. I don't think I could say it. It's O-S-S-S something. I don't know. I don't, they just told me to show up at this certain time in this hotel room and there was a bunch of people and they had, somebody did a seance sort of. Was, Bring a live chicken and. No, those were live chickens. <laughs> they, did a, they did a memorial to Mark. Did, and then, did you have to provide your own robes? No, <laughs> it was really nice. These people were wonderful, but um, it is, it is. The world of the mentalist is like a very tiny world of the magic community. It's it is bizarre magic. I mean, we really did carny. They had people. I stapled a ten dollar bill to somebody's forehead. Oh my god! I've never done anything like that. It's <laughs> freaking me out. I put the video up on my on my Facebook page. You guys should have seen it. And then we had one guy who comes in. Oh my god! He was amazing. He was all goth and everything, and he comes in with this bumpy music, and he. And he puts a string, he puts floss in his mouth and he puts it in and he works it up and he pulls it out of his eyeball. Oh my God, it was so, oh my God. And then they did a wand breaking ceremony. And I know Karen saw it because I put the video up and she said something, but this yes. is the, this is the wand. Um, they make a wand for the magician who's died and it's long. And then they do a ceremony, a memorial to him. It's very, very... Um, stoic you know no they locked the door so that nobody could get in during the ceremony so we wouldn't be we uh, and then they they break it and then they say abracadabra it, it was really interesting how they do this and then they gave me the um the top of it it was it was magisterium so they've already invited me back to do a talk next year on um like debunking a psychic who knew and i've got two more that they might be doing 
I've been invited to Pose Magic in Maryland next August and to possibly the West Coast, East Coast Spirit Circle, which is in January in South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. But I don't really want to go to these unless I can get something, some gig in that area to do, you know, for other reasons. So Maryland, if you've got something for me out in anywhere in that area for August next year, or maybe um, South Carolina in January, third week of January, I I might be able to go out to it if there's some something. Well, South Carolina is basically North Carolina, so you can just go visit Faith and Romero. I yeah. well, that's true, but I want to be able to do talks and stuff because if I can't do a talk, then it's not. And I would be willing to go from one place to the other because I just don't want to go from California to South Carolina, and that's the only reason I'm there. I want to go there and do some other stuff in, mm -hmm. in the East Coast. So, if there's stuff that I could do out there, I'd be happy to do it. So, when are you? When are you going? Or when is it? Well, the Myrtle Beach is the third week. I think it's the third week of January. So it's beautiful out there. I mean, right on the coast, it's really nice and it's really quiet. But so anyway, that's it. So nothing, Rob, you don't have anything, right? I do. Oh, you do? Well, hurry up. I do. It's getting this Monday, time. I'm hosting uh, the Recovering from Religion Weekly show. And our guest is Psycon speaker, Forrest Valkai. Ooh, he's wow. he's be really becoming, everybody's talking about him these days. He's amazing. He's a little over enthusiastic, but he's fun. <laughs> Yeah, I, I had it when I interviewed him for my column in the video, I had to edit the hell out of it because I spent like at least you know, like 10 minutes collectively laughing and, and I had to edit it down for time. <laughs> so, so many jump cuts. Anyway, so his talk is Life Lessons from the Lab, How Learning Science Makes You a Better Person. So uh, he's he's mixing uh, humanism and science here. So I, I, I like that idea. And let's see, the second thing, is Carolyn here? Yes, because she might want to see this. What? So, Hi. So, so Susan and I were working on the Sunday paper stuff, and I prepared so something for the Sunday papers. We're going to see if we can run this thing sort of as a promo while uh -huh. the uh, you know main session is going on to, we'll see, hello, it's not letting me get to the bottom, so I can hit hide meeting controls. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So we're going to try that again. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not working. Why is it not working for Rob? Oh, that's not working. That's weird. Okay. I don't understand it's why the Rob's not working. What's that? You're at the end of the show. Should you were on been. the last screen and not the top screen, first screen. Oh, maybe. Okay. Try that again. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So this was, uh, you know, just a quick thing. And we're going to give the people who are going up on the stage to do Sunday papers practice, but, you know, by having something like this, if not exactly this up there so they can use the clicker and you know, they'll get nervous and see what the audience looks like. Do we look well, at Is Nathaniel? While we're all talking about, about I was just wondering about too, did we lose them? Go ahead, Gail. Well, we're all talking about PsyCon, and you're trying to encourage people to stay for Sunday morning. Anyone who can stay the rest of the day and is, likes Broadway, the Smith Center has the, the roving show from Broadway, uh, Back to the Future, the musical. On Monday um, night? That Sunday night, a PsyCon. And I just bought my nephew and niece and their daughter are coming. Icon and they're staying for that play, so I know there are still tickets available. Deborah says they have five points. Thank you, Deborah. I just got the. <laughs> I just looked and saw the message. I'm. I'm sure somebody already knew that. Yeah, but... somebody did that. All right. So unless there's anything, they else, asked me to take notes. So I had. We'll move know. on because we. There could... is a something else. Oh. <laughs> Brandy, there's Brandy. Okay. So. Um, since we know a lot of people come in early for PsyCon and maybe there's not a lot going on or maybe people would like to have a good place to meet up and meet some people, um, we thought it would be nice to have people over to our place on Wednesday. Oh, yay! 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 On Wednesday? We're getting in on yeah, Wednesday, right, Kyle? Yeah, yeah. Is it, do you have a place that can be gone to? Just parking and stuff? Well, we don't need parking, huh? But I was going to say, parking might be an issue, but you have a, car, a straight Susan? shot from the horseshoe 
kind of. Uh, is that Brandy, is it Wednesday afternoon? Um, nice. Well, we were going to do Wednesday evening, probably around six. Okay. Oh, that sounds fun. Party. Perfect. We'll be in. I'll have to see what time my plane Perfect. gets in. So I haven't made I'm my reservation sad. yet. I'm not coming till Thursday. Um, oh. Brandy, how far are you from the hotel? Um, It's a straight shot down Flamingo, really, maybe 10 minutes. Okay. So you're going to come pick us all up? Walking, driving, <laughs> how do we know. get there? On it, um, driving, you, I mean, if you're, uh, you we know, would take a, we would probably get know. everybody together and just take Ubers because, because yeah. there's not going to be parking, you guys. So don't worry about it, Janine. You get a really big okay, vehicle for Uber, you get an Uber, Uber. I can't imagine I can walk that far, even if I've I've been, I've been told that you just don't walk anywhere in, in Las Vegas. No, you do not. Uh, yeah, we could take Ubers, we could take Lyft, we could take taxis. It's a great yeah. idea. Thank you, Brandy and okay. Kyle. Yeah. Yes, okay, thank you. Great. Awesome so that's, idea. Um, uh, oh, I can tell you guys for who are attending PsychOn, I'll just tell you really quick. This bit I can tell you. The the horseshoe the conference is held on the twenty sixth floor, and it's oh. all windows. Oh, so it's going to be beautiful. You're going to have a view of the of the the city, except they're going to block off the area where the stage is. You know, so that we behind the stage will be all black curtains or something. And, and it's, no chairs. Oh yeah, there'll be lots of chairs. And this is they're already selling like crazy. They said that we should have the room fits seven hundred and fifty people. We should probably hit 700. I have a question. Yes. So if it's all windows, what is going to become of people who show things again on the screen with all that light? I'm sure they'll figure it out because it's going to be a because there's four screens and it's a 12 foot ceilings. So it should work out. They're just going to black out all the area where this behind the screens. And then the light's going to shine so, on so the, the audience will have. It'll be a, it's a big room. So it's a big banquet hall. So. Calls for rain that week anyway. So. Also, they might have re reverse projection screens depending on what they've invested in. Or they might yeah. just have big big televisions. There's a, there's a bar where we recently started going, and outside in the bright sunlight, they have four large televisions, and there's no problem seeing them. It's amazing. Yeah, the, oh, I'm, sure they, I'm sure they figured it out because they've got these. This is the casinos um, TVs and stuff, so it's like. So obviously it's made for this, whatever. Big, oh. four big screens. I've already had a nice long talk with the AV people at uh, CSI. I've got a lot of other stuff that I can't tell you that's coming up, but uh, let me tell you, it's some exciting stuff happening in uh, 2025 and 2026. Can't tell you. Maybe if I go to pizza with you and we're not recording, but this should be fun. Psychon's going to be on the 26th floor. That should be fun. All, All right. I'll shout a reminder. Are you full for next week? I thought you oh, needed thank one you more so person. Much. I need one person. I have, right now I have Peggy, Rob, and Kevin's doing bonus. I can do one, Susan, you know. Gail's got it. Thank you. All right. And then, so the following week, we'll need, we'll need help, but that's. You know, still ways. And there's going to be a debate, and they did it right this time. The vice presidential debate is on a Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> God, I don't know why they they must have. Uh, who checked with them? Did they check with one of you guys? Which day? It's Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Tuesday. Which coming Tuesday. Tuesday. This coming Tuesday. This coming Tuesday. October first, nine p.m. Uh, Eastern time. So it's uh five. Okay. But six o'clock, okay, six, six, six to six thirty Pacific time. Oh, it's only a half an hour. <laughs> Is he going to kick his ass that bad? That it's going to be just dead? sorry, six to seven thirty. Sorry. I I want Waltz to show up with his dog <laughs> and sick him on JD. And he is well, gonna, if JD is shows up, his, his dog is there. I want Vance to bring his couch. I mean, it's just like <laughs> his couch, his couch, his couch. His couch. Anyway, let's get back to the game. What happened to Nathaniel? Do he, he just said, I guess the game is over? I just I just texted him, but he hasn't responded. Uh -oh, he probably said, oh, bad. I guess we're done. Not we're bad. just chatting now. Okay, sounds good. All right, so here we go.
I just think and it's my turn, huh? Is Adrian. What do you got, mm-hmm. Adrian? I have something about Iceland. Are you surprised? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I should have well, okay, known. now I took a peek at the Wikipedia page for Iceland. So let's see if anything absorbed into my brain. <laughs> well, hopefully. Um, some of this I learned uh, while there. And well, yeah, most of it I learned while there. So question number one. How was the famous Blue Lagoon formed in Iceland where people paid until the recent volcanic eruption an entry fee of $64 to bathe in the curative water? $64. Oh. Yeah, not cheap. Everything's expensive in Iceland. We didn't pay that. It's actually, I mean, it's probably a better deal than a lot of things out there. This aquatic bird was a, has a distinct call and is commonly found in Iceland and Greenland, but is also associated with Canada, especially regarding the Skeptic Zone podcast. What is this bird? Bird? This unique museum in Reykjavik has gained international notoriety since it displays a distinctive feature of mammals. It even features Jimi Hendrix and a fun section on trolls and elves. What does this museum feature slash display? What is the only indigenous tree species species in Iceland? Wow, just one. Mm-hmm. One. That's it. According to the Guinness World Records, Iceland has the most writers per capita. You get to do some math. If the population of Iceland is approximately 399,000 people, how many people are writers, plus or minus 10,000? Oh, interesting. And I I can attest to the fact that there are a lot of writers in in, uh, Iceland. because Professional professional writers? Yeah, yeah, people who publish, like write books, publish articles. But uh, yeah, so... There are so many bookstores there, and they all serve wine and beer. And every corner, there seems... How to cool books. is that? It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. But are they in Icelandic? Uh, they are in both uh, Icelandic and English. And that's actually one of the incentives for people to write, is a lot of the writers are funded as if they write in Icelandic. Wow. That's interesting. To, they're trying to preserve the language. That's that's interesting. Yeah. That's very cool. Oops. I tried to give you the same question twice. Not very good of me. Ah. Okay. Number six. This beverage was considered unpatriotic and was illegal until 1988. What was the beverage? So I want you to be somewhat specific. In other words, I'm not looking for a specific brand, but I'm looking for like a general beverage. That makes sense. No. (laughs) Like I'm not looking for the Bic pen. Uh, I'm just saying pen, pen would be good, right? Like I don't want you to just say like water. Right. That's not going to, I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, pen versus big pen. All right. I think it's really funny that it was considered unpatriotic. All right. In Iceland, oops. Number seven. In Iceland, there are 32 volcanic systems comprising of mountains ranging from 155 meters to 2,000 meters tall. Sorry, Rob. 
How many volcanic mountains are there, plus or minus 10? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful country, lots of mountains. Oh, bad. All right, number eight. In what year did Iceland finally fully gain independence and formally become a republic? Plus or minus five years. Number nine, what country did Iceland finally break away from when it gained its independence? And number 10, two other autonomous territories are still under the country in question nine's control regarding foreign affairs and defense matters. Name one of these two territories. Well, I read that Wikipedia page just a little bit ago, and it is not going to help me at all. <laughs> Everything I read was like about the 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 indigenous animal that was there and the population which you just gave to us. I <laughs> the population. Well, some of them I know what the flag the looks like. I I mean, I was looking at all kinds of trivial stuff, and you didn't give me any of them. Well, some of this you should know because of stuff that was on my Facebook page, as well as something. I that looked at your pretty you. pictures. Does does does, does does number nine? Hold on, <laughs> hold on. There's a bonus. Oh, who did it's I on the Wikipedia page? Maybe I've got no, it. No, no. You better get this one right, Susan, or I'm going to get real mad. Who did I meet in Iceland and interview? For oh, the oh my God. I have a question. I have an answer. <laughs> Finally. Um, question, number, Alan? Yes. Number nine. Is that anything to do with like um, uh, continental drift? No. <laughs> it's oh, <laughs> oh, please. Good one. But, you know, <laughs> well done, Alan. All right. I will send everyone to the rooms. We got one point, you guys. Thankfully. Oh, let me put Brandy and um, everybody on their teams. Okay. Okay. So Brandy is new. Hey, in. put her on mine because I'm leaving. Well, that's three. No, that's almost that. I can't. You guys are like doing really well. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. She's going on the low team, the team that is like e. Deborah is two. Karen, Karen, Karen. Oh, I can put you on that team. Because, yeah, I can put Karen you on better, there. You better get some of those ones. Okay, I can put Karen on there. Okay, cool. I know one. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to. You're leaving us? I'm leaving you. Okay. Take yeah. care. Don't forget to watch that video. The, in the email, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. I'm going to three. Hi, Carolyn. Just letting you guys know. I'm oh, taking Carolyn, you are still here. Good. Yes, yes. Like, well, well, I'm, I'm, the, saying, I'm just saying bye. Oh, okay. Do you know any dancers before you go? I know Loon. No, what? Number two is the Loon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Loon. Oh, that makes sense now. Yeah. I didn't know that. Good job. Okay, night. Bye, Bye night. Carolyn. Yeah. Aaron is going on to three. Okay. So number, okay. One, is number one is man made. It like holds geothermal heated water from a power plant. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, they're just reusing like a like lava field or something like that. Yeah, I knew that you were <laughs> on the geothermal. Is that man made? It's, it's man made, yeah. Okay. Human uh, made. Yeah. Human made. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Person. Welcome, Karen. Hi. Number three is the penis. Yes. I, I that was the only one I knew. The what? penis? It is the, the penis? The penis. Not the I, it was gonna be I think it's something called like the phallic museum of some kind. I don't know. Oh, but... how interesting. I thought it was gonna be it was gonna be um the ab abominable snowman or something. Uh, I actually have earrings that I got in Alaska that are made out of whale penises. 
I why see, would Jimi Hendrix be in a museum on penises? Have you seen Jimi Hendrix's penis? No, I should mean, I? He <laughs> was a very talented guitarist, and I didn't know pants. that. How do we know that? He had he had because the pants he wore. Please, do you not remember the time? I oh hold on, I don't know if he had his pants split or if that was somebody else. No, that was Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> Kravitz, thank you. And I think he had like a his his was okay. I think number four <laughs> is the birch tree, but I'm not a hundred percent positive. Why birch? Not the larch. I. I birch trees grow in cold weather. Birch, <laughs> but so do aspen and pine. Aspen and pine. But if I you can't... know, go for it. If you know. I, I, see, I, I think it's either between birch or aspen, but I'm not 100% sure. But I think aspen trees, though, elevation-wise, they tend to grow at higher elevations. But well, they're I, the same elevation as, I like, mean, Nor well, Norway, obviously. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. To another question. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the answer to another question, right? Yes. I don't know... Do other people know? I hear Faith saying she knows a lot. Does anybody else know anything? I never know nothing. Um, I only know the bonus. Five. Number five, I don't know. Number five, I'm not sure how many people are writers. But I do know that they have the most book sales, I think, in the like in the world, I think. Plus or minus 10,000, that's a lot. Um, a lot. Five, five, 50,000, I don't know. <laughs> 50,000 would be an awful lot of published writers. They sell a ton of books. Like around Christmas is when they publish, like they publish the most books and have the most book sales, I think, out of any country in the world. I can believe that because what do you do all winter there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> have have sex mm -hmm. and study penises. Yeah. yeah. Some people. Go so 50,000. 50, I don't know. It's just a guess. Yes. Random guess. That's okay. The, we're gonna I, know, I, know. I know like the rest I don't know the thing about the geography, but number six is beer. Really? Yes. Because, Why? because Denmark, that's who they got their independence from with Denmark. Yeah. Den beer is like, I guess was really prominent for them to drink in Denmark. And because they just didn't want to. Oh, okay. Associated with that anymore. So you said Denmark beer? No, it's just beer. Oh, just beer. She's not, she just wanted specific, but she's not looking for a brand, but oh, it's okay. just beer in general. And Denmark is the answer to eight, right? Yes. I, no, I thought I'm it was nine, well, not Norway. No, no, they oh, finally, Denmark. Okay. They gained independence from Denmark, I think, at least in 1944, I think. It was right after the World War. And okay. they originally were. 1944 is too early for the end of the World War, isn't it? I don't 45 think is when it 45. actually ended, I think that it was, was Japan. 24, Norway. I mean, there was a treaty that they had and it expired. Yeah, 44 was more or less Germany and in, in that Europe, but 45 was more Japan. Yeah. yeah. So it could have been 44. But I think it's somewhere, it's somewhere around the World War. So we can do 44, which gives us 39 to 49. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's got to be within that that range. And Denmark, huh? That makes sense. Yeah. I watch a YouTuber. The other ter the other territory is Greenland, right? It, either Greenland or I think it's Greenland Norway. because they're still owned by Denmark, aren't they? Yeah, that's the point. That's the yeah. Story. That would make sense. Two oh, territories. Did I just Greenland. do blue by doing that? Yeah. It's that guy that came to our uh trivia. Yeah, Coleman Watts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only one I knew an answer to. So, yeah. what is Coleman, it, Susan? Coleman. What? Uh -huh. what? Watts. W A T T S. Yeah. Watts T T S. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because she, they also went to Greenland on the. They both were going to, on an Icelandic cruise and going to Greenland. They just missed each other by one. He like he was getting off as she was getting on. Uh -huh. and a little time they stopped. And that, that in, in trivia just happened to mention she was going and he's like, wait a minute, you're going to be in Iceland? That's where I'm going to be. And then he got COVID after. 
They got back. I remember. So how many volcanoes? I have no idea. Do you want to say? A lot. 32. Is plus or minus 10? Maybe 200? Uh, 32. How many would you put as call a system? I don't know if it would be 200. Because the ring road is like 400 miles around. That 400? would, yeah. That would like so every, 200. Yeah, every, what, every two miles, there would be a mountain. No, but, uh, but there's, well, what about the It wouldn't be 32? System? Well, 32 systems. And they want to know how many mountains there are. So how many mountains do you need to make a system? It probably depends. How high is 2,000 meters? Oh, yeah. We need an American. Very high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's two kilometers. So how much is that? Well, if three, if three so volcanoes are two miles system, high. That would be about a hundred, be ninety-eight. It's the third option. You just have to click down. Why do you have to type it? Sixty-five, sixty-one. Oh, so they're like Mount Mitchells. Okay. That, I like how she said that two thousand meters is very high, and I'm looking at that as being sixty-five hundred feet. <laughs> That's not very high. Um. But they're in the, near the ocean, so. Right. How much is one? 500 feet. So these are tiny to Mount Mitchell size. Um, maybe 200, maybe? Um, we can go in the middle, 150. <laughs> Well, the range starts at 150 meters. Yeah. For a mountain. Yeah. That's why, do we want to go 200? 150? What do you think, Karen? I said 32. So I'm I'm way out of. Uh, I think there would be way more than that if there yeah, I understand. That's, why, to that's 65. why I'm not arguing because I really don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking because of the plus or minus 10. It should be like an like another order of magnitude at least. Mm -hmm. So do you so want like to do 100. like one sixty, and that gives us one fifty to one seventy. Sure. <laughs> no, I'm not even a venture. Uh, yeah. Do one sixty. One sixty. Yeah. Okay. And you know, we have answers to everything now. Following Nordic class on TikTok would pay out. <laughs> I follow a TikToker who does all the different uh, Nordic countries and the different languages and stuff. Like really? what their word for dra yeah, what their word for dragon is, what their word for like balloon, and it's very ridiculous. Finland always has something that doesn't make any sense. And they have like little flags underneath their cheeks. And I love it. Before we're leaving, since we're almost done now, Susan, mm -hmm. you, are, you know about the hotel. You obviously have been here. Um, I, this is an open invitation. If you are ever coming to Las Vegas and you need a place to stay and you don't want to go to a hotel, you're welcome here, you know. Well, thank you. I think I remember you telling me that before. Thank you very much. We're not we're a half hour drive from the from the strip. You're gonna get a hotel room, right? No. We tried last year and decided we weren't gonna ever use it so it wasn't worth the money. So we're gonna come and go back. I'm too old to do these long hours anymore. A whole day of conferencing, and I'm exhausted. It is exhausting. It's very exhausting. I didn't make it on Sunday because I was totally out of it. And unfortunately, I teach on Wednesday mm. all day. So, at night, I have a parliamentary procedure class Wednesday night with over 200 people on it. Wow. Woo! 
Wow. We actually had over 700 people, which is why we added the Wednesday class. Wow. It's one of the, the sororities. One of our members is the sorority member, and she wrote to her national sorority. We usually get about 40 people in my class, and she wrote to them, and we had to start a second class because we hadn't told them we wouldn't do it. And my Zoom account would only hold 500, and we had 700 people wrong, line up. Francisco. We started using the procedures at our skeptics board meetings. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then you should join our class in January because we're going to do it again because of all the people Two we seconds. still want to come and we didn't have room for them. Adrian. 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 No. <laughs> no. Hey, what was the name of that guy that was, his name sounds like Gary Nunn. Is it Gary Nunn or is it Gary Null? Null. N-U-L-L? N-U-L-L, -L, yeah. The, the Null Hypothesis. Okay. I just, somebody just posted on Facebook that there's a book up by, uh, uh, on psychics by Gary Nunn. Oh. And you went in and I'm thinking, what? Gary, I was thinking it was the guy you were talking about. But anyway, it's a book that came out in 2021. And the woman who's reading it says she's come out. With, she's seen two references to Mark Edward in it already. And wow. I'm like, I don't think Mark knew that he has quoted in a book. And I'm looking at this and it's and it's got like um, a quote by Mark from his book, Psychic Blues. And I, I don't think Mark was aware that he was being quoted in this book. That's interesting, uh, yeah. So I, so I have a question. When the thing popped up, this is the second time I've done that, and I don't like the new Zoom interface because I never did this before. Whoa. When the thing popped up for two minutes, I hit the button and got bounced to the main section, and our team was had four left Why to do. Why did you hit a button? I never hit a button. It blocks the screen, and my impulse was to get oh, it out of the way. Oh, you're supposed to move it. Don't Yeah, well, so I'm button. just saying, did our team uh, finish? Cat, Cat, Rob, did our team finish? Rob, yeah, I we finished, and all the new wrong answers were blaming on you, yeah. Rob. <laughs> yeah, Rob, um, so it's you're always finished, done okay? that. It's always done that. You've never been able to just press a button to make it disappear. I don't, I, you must be misremembering. You can close it. Yeah, you can if close you hit it. the X, it closes so you don't get the notification. Or you can get another screen and you just push it to the next screen. I'm sorry, sorry that happened to you, don't Rob. Get the Are you... Are you wanting to email yeah. text answers? No, to it's, it's a, it, no they had to do a bunch back? of math on the remaining ones. It sounds like they got it. So okay. thank you. All so right. Okay. Every, the team's okay. So I can post the answers then. We're good. Yes. Yeah. All right. So here we go. So for the first answer, the Blue Lagoon, I heard people say it's man-made. That's an acceptable answer. And I also heard people say it's runoff water from the power plant, which oh. is acceptable as well. It is wow. not, you know, just a geothermal mm. lake that naturally occurred. You're actually in runoff, sitting there and bathing in runoff. Which so is runoff nice. from what? Nice. From the power plant. From the power plant. Like, like what? Yeah. Like from nuclear, nuclear runoff. Flushing, Everybody nuclear wants an extra flushing, arm. Nuclear? What are we talking about? No, no, no. It's a geothermal plant. Geothermal plant. And so they use the, the, the water to power uh, Reykjavik and other communities that are around and the runoff from after it gets goes through the turbines and produces the power the runoff is it it pools in this man-made area and they you know it, there's a whole story you can go on wikipedia mm -hmm. and find out about it some guy apparently had bad psoriasis and decided to go and bathe in this water and apparently it cured his psoriasis <laughs> yeah. so, it does it, yeah, you know, no, it doesn't work. Yeah, so there, yeah. That, that's uh, oh, it, it became a popular place to go. Yeah. But it's, it's not. Like, a, it's like Lords. Happy. You know how many people say they went to Lords and were cured? Yeah, yeah no, but, but it does work. Not many yeah. amputees. Jamie, citation <laughs> needed. It does work. <laughs> I don't know if it works well, or not. That's what they said. All right. I read it on Wikipedia. It's yeah, true. Had two, I think be. most people got this correct. Of course, the loon, is, we have a loony. It's on our current. My team got it right. I'm yes. so pleased. Oh, with that, a beautiful bird. Wow. It's a oh, loons you never are seen lovely. Loons, Susan? I don't, I don't are, think I've ever, I don't think I've ever seen one. We saw them in Greenland. We saw them and heard them in both Greenland and Iceland. And I was so surprised. I was like, did I just hear a loon? Because you hear them in Canada, right? I'm kind of used to that. Well, we have them in Monterey Bay. 
Yeah, I we, don't think I've ever noticed one. We yeah. had one that was president for four years. Uh, <laughs> ah, yes. He wasn't as good looking, though. No. And here's Paul our wins. So yeah. this is uh, the Icelandic Phallological Museum, and it features the largest connection of penises and penile parts. So as long as you say penis, we're all good. And that's <laughs> me in the entranceway. And you can see this large carved penis, which says Viagra on it. Well, so, uh, Sonia uh, and Faith man. are telling me they've seen Jimi Hendrix's penis. Yeah, yeah. They're, actually, if you go onto the Wikipedia page, it has a picture of the cast of Jimi Hendrix's penis. So wait, wait. Oh, it's the cast, right now. not the real penis. Not the real thing. So there's, oh. a, there's an, art, an artist who... No, I said her, it was a real... The, no, 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 no. It's the cast. That was the real, real penis. And, I think so there's that's all disgusting. These famous, there's all these famous people's penises that have been cast by this artist in the 60s and 70s and maybe 80s. I can't remember. Did somebody have cast somebody's Man. penis? Yep. That she slept not... with them all and she wanted a memento. So Susan, that be Susan that didn't being... you ever listen? Susan, did you ever listen to Kiss? There's a whole song called Plaster Caster. <laughs> no, I've never heard Plaster that Caster. Grab a hold of me faster. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a fascinating museum. It's really interesting. It's mostly like a natural history museum. So there's no but, cast on Jimi Hendrix's page. That museum is totally not dicking her. No, no, not on Jimi <laughs> Hendrix's page. Go to the, the, the penis museum's page and it oh, has a cast. The I C. Well, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I got to ask about this picture then. Okay. okay. So obviously these are huge, right? Yeah. They're massive. So these, yeah. these, you know, they're not life size. So these, <laughs> these are bigger cast, dicks than most politicians. These Come casts on. are made like extra big, so they're not the, really a cast. No, 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 they're, 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 they're real big. size. The casts are real size. size. So yeah. Jimi Hendrix's is like, you know, a few inches. It's a real size, not. Yeah. 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 Oh I my think, God, I... that's Jimi Hendrix's penis? No, that's my point. <laughs> Is that is it? That's not a cast of a penis. No, no, no. She's looking on the Wikipedia page right now, Celia. Oh, oh. Okay. So, so I have, I have, a, I have another question. On, bigger than it actually is. I have another question on number three. Why did you define it as a distinctive feature of mammals? Uh, because <laughs> there's no other museum that, for a long time at least, that actually just displays penises. It's a. So I think what Rob means is that. Mammals are not the only animals. Animals with penises. penises. The way you wrote yeah, it, it means it means only yeah, mammals with penises. I, you know, I agree with no. Rob. It made me think of no, fur hold, and hold on, and hold breastfeeding, on. and it's only got mammal penises. That's it. That's it's, it. So whatever. Not a distinctive feature whatever. of mammals. Whatever. Yeah. 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 I got it right as far as Where's I can it? tell. So Rob, it doesn't matter. Uh, Icelandic birch is the only indigenous tree species in Iceland. Boy, that's pretty. It's so different from our birch. Mm -hmm. They're quite different. Uh, and they're mostly in the north right now. There's a few places where you can see them in the north. And they were logged by the early settlers. So that's it's why. It's not a son of a birch is, or a son is, of a beech. Is birch sufficient or do we need Icelandic birch? No, birch is fine. Okay. Birch. So their houses are all crooked. <laughs> Son of a birch. So, was a crooked uh, little man. And <laughs> so, according to the Guinness World Records, it's one in ten people are writers. <laughs> so that's between thirty nine thousand nine hundred and forty nine thousand nine hundred. I'm <clears> sorry <throat> for those of you who have five to fifty thousand. Is that what we did, Ben? No, we had fifty. Yeah, a few people had fifty, including my own team. That is such a. We missed it by a hundred. I wonder if other cultures. Did we say ten percent? I thought we said ten percent. I wonder if that's common. To, you know, to yeah, help I don't know. We, I, think, I think we said ten percent originally, and then and then you upped it. I was there with you. Yeah. All right. So this one here you is need to stop here. opening it. A lot of people got this, and this is because oh, the beer? country that they separated from were big beer drinkers. Apparently, oh, oh wow, so it was unpatriotic. A, a lot of people were saying because of Germany and beer, which is fine. It, you can get the same answer, but that's actually not the reason that they made it unpatriotic. Well, I thought we did come up with that idea of it being a beverage well, from Denmark, but then we couldn't think of a beverage from Denmark. <laughs> Apparently, in Denmark, there's lots of beer drinkers. So there are uh, oh, no. 130 wow. volcanic mountains. Oh, we got that one. So anywhere between 120 and 140. How'd you do, Ben? Not so, oh my God, you got it spot on, Faith. 
I know. Wait. I couldn't believe there were a couple teams that got this right on. It's 19 yeah, right on. So between <laughs> 1939 and 1949 would be acceptable. Oh, but I was amazed at how many people. Oh, got it. darn it. It's a little too early. And Denmark, as it was said by Celia. So that is who they broke away from. And next, number 10. The other two are the oh, Faroe yeah. Islands or Greenland. So as long as you said, I think most people said Greenland. That's kind of the more obvious one, but either one is fine. Mm. And lastly, where are the Faroe Islands? Where are the Faroe Islands? What's that? Where are they? They're, they're, they're in Egypt. No, the Faroe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On Earth. <laughs> they're they're between uh, Iceland and the Scandinavia, actually. And there's a ferry between Denmark that goes from Denmark to the Faroe Islands to Iceland. So they're just east of the Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly is Coleman uh, right. from what Think nice This Through. Yeah, it was fun. It Who was took a... the picture? My husband, while, while I was interviewing him. That That's a, a really great nice picture. picture. I love that picture. Nice. Thanks. It was fun. He's a fun guy. He's very funny. And... Let me stop sharing. That's wonderful. Wait, so the first answer, the answer you're looking for for um, the Blue oh, Lagoon, it, what kind of answer? Because I, I As long as it's man-made man -made or it's the runoff from the power plant. Okay. Either of those or both or whatever. We got it right. Yeah, we yes, got it. you did. All yeah. right, so I'll put the solutions in the chat so you can. We said Caldera. Wanted it to be natural. <laughs> really good. So is Brookshire there? Yeah. yeah. There so there's all the answers. Okay, good. Oh. I never saw Blue Lagoon, but I've heard it's it's po popular. It's very popular. And there's another one called the Sky Lagoon. And uh, apparently, it is actually an, a geothermal natural uh, spa. Hey, did you go? There? Did you swim in the lagoon? I did not. No, because mm -hmm. we were advised not to because of the the concern about the volcanic activity. And if you know, about two days after we left Iceland, it the volcano erupted, and they had to evacuate the Blue Lagoon within thirty mm -hmm. minutes. Yeah. We, we were actually advised oh. not to go really yeah, that's too bad and Should by the back. way speak, speaking of your bonus answer Coleman Watts is going to be uh, my guest on the Recovering from Religion show in two weeks oh nice mm -hmm. excellent all right so a monkey holding a pager is called a baboom <laughs> got seven Ooh, okay uh, what did Alice Jason and Lillian Carter have in common eight Helene, Hel 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 <laughs> take a roof just of. because you can. Nine. Oh, wait. Oh, team. Wow. <laughs> Many sides of cat. Because every answer we got was wrong after Rob left, we got five. What? <laughs> and we were oh. off by just a smidge on three. Yeah. Look at that. 7.3. <laughs> we we I, were in well. You we, should have been more difficult. Settlement. Yeah, I, w I was going to ask I'm Rob, with that what was the ratio well. of the mountains and volcanoes in Hawaii? And he wasn't there to answer. And I was going to use that ratio to multiply it by 32. Mm. I don't know if it would have worked, though. That was just my logic. Okay, so we were a little we're, short. We're almost done. Cat, you be up. I'm still stuck in this penis size. <laughs> 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 well, look at all those penises in uh, Kevin's picture there. Mm. Look at that. I think there's also a That's penis Chicago. in Denmark as well. I, I sent you a postcard from the museum. Yes. Did Thanks you? for throwing me that bone. I didn't catch that it. it was a penis museum. Yeah, don't be, I talked don't about be too the worried Paris. about the okay. cast, Susan. Some people are showers, some are growers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Are we ready for the bonus round? Mm-hmm. Is it about penises? This is, this is, oh. No, it's not about penises. Do you want me to make one about penises? <laughs> Look at the size of a reindeer penis. Oh, my God. Susan, stop looking. 
Stop. I'm well, going to need your help on this one. What about the, I've seen on footage, the whale. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's cat's turn for a category. <laughs> Oh, All right, we're this is going to be sticking around and get on with it. <laughs> get Susan, on don't, with it. Don't don't look at a duck. It's a corkscrew. Oh. Just uh, meet everybody, cat. Okay, go. This for is going to be fairly quick because you're either going to know it or you're not going to know it. Okay. <laughs> so on this day in 2010, Downton Abbey premiered in the UK. <laughs> Faith loves me so much. There were six series, or we call them seasons in North America, and two movies. I want you to name 10 of the main characters from Downton Abbey. Ooh. Main is defined as a character who had a major role in at least three seasons or se series, whatever you want to call it, of the show, or had at least one major role in the series and, and appeared in at least one of the movies. I thought you, you said you wanted my help. Or the actor. Oh, All right, good night, everybody. No. <laughs> oh, I'm with you, ben. <laughs> I've you never watched the, it. I have need no the clue. full name or just like first name good enough? Um, depends on Lady Lord. <laughs> I will accept <laughs> titles and partial names for okay. the above above stairs. For below stairs, if they were only primarily known by one name, I will accept that one name. Okay. Any other questions before I send you all away? Aside from Why? Faith, I wish you were on my team this time. I'm I went and saw face. the movies in the theater. Mm. <laughs> yes, me too, Queen. Whoops, I just lost my tiara. I've got, my I hair got is too clean for my tiara. <laughs> this is dry now. It's drying, yes. Okay, no more questions? Send us to our rooms. Go to your rooms. You've all been very, very naughty. <laughs> Maybe Maybe I, have, I watched the entire series and saw the movie and I am senile and cannot remember names. The only thing I I, I really like God for Godsford Park. I've seen that a bunch of the times, but that's not that won't help with this much. So I will just be sitting here twiddling my thumbs. I will go with Lord uh, and Lady Douchebag. So we're actually gonna get a zero. And unless something comes through my brain oh, cell well, that Ron I is, okay, because... everybody just be quiet and let Ron concentrate. It's it's yeah. all up I've to I've never him. seen this series. I never heard anybody talk about it. I know zero here. Okay, let Ron think. He's done this. God, I wish I could remember the damn names. I, I can name the the the, char the the actors, but I can't remember the characters. Okay, so how about McGonagall? That Nick woman? What is yeah, she doing? That, that that's her. That she's she's definitely in there. What is her name? Name the actor. Name? name the actors that might help. Well, might Hugh help Bonneville is the Lord of the of Downton Abbey. <laughs> um whatever McGonagall, I can't remember her real name now, but yeah, she she's the aunt, the, the dowager. This is the There's the three the three daughters. Faith is on the other team that has the same score we do, so they won now. Well, let Where him did... think. Let him think. It doesn't, doesn't matter. I'm not, not, not going to get 10. He's going to get 10. He's going to get 10. Yeah, go get your wife, get 10. Gavin. Wake uh. Shit. She's sleeping. I hate this kind Wake of category. Because, like, you can't you can't suss it out. It's just if you one one topic, if you don't know it, you're screwed. Well, if yeah. we did know it, we'd be excited. Yeah, it's like the Ted Lasso one. Unfortunately, I didn't start watching the show until after we had the category. It's a category. Uh, it's show. a topic we've well, never done. Let's go fun. with um, Keith Partridge, <laughs> uh, Dwight Schrute. Oh, I like that. Um, Tom Brady. I want to know why the heck we didn't stick with forty thousand for last round. And that wasn't that our first guess. I don't remember. I can't remember how we ended up where we ended well, when up. I, when I, I left, we were on the the ten percent for the for the writers, and then I don't know how. We and you said ten percent, and I said maybe a little higher, and we went a little higher, and I and I shouldn't have. Oh, ten percent was right. dead okay. on. No more little higher. 
Kevin. Does, yeah, I, I did it a couple matter. times, but at the same time, I did another one where I, I was right, and you guys talked me out of it. So it works both ways. It goes both ways, yeah. Yeah. Edith one and Archie. The, there is an Edith in there. I think it's one of the daughters. I'm going to think of hoity toity English names. I'll tell you whether it rings a bell. Lettuce. Lettuce is one of those hoity toity names. Who? Lettuce. Lord Faltleberry or something like that. Ariadne. Yeah. I th didn't, didn't she say she wants a title and a name too? So you can't just even say Edith. Um, Whatever they go know, by. Because she was one of the daughters, so she wasn't really a titled, if I remember well, correctly. Did they have servants? And there were yeah, servants. Downstairs, there, there were, yeah, it was very upstairs, servants. downstairs. What thing was the too. servants' names? Because if they only called them, they only called them like Tony or, you know, or Jackie or something. Yo, Tony. Nobody yeah. calls them Tony or Jackie. No, I know, but I'm just saying. That's not there true. There's, there's, there were two of them that married each other and. Jack and Diane. You scare you uh, your team, yeah. cat. You're killing us. We lost because of this. Ron's category. the only person who's ever seen it and he can't think of a single name. Well, I see a single name up there, so that's well, a lot. Okay, we don't um, know if it's and, and, uh, there's another team who's like they're like, We're done. We know nothing. Well, oh, yeah, oh, Faith Ruth, got Faith and Faith's got ten. Series. And yeah. she's the tide. Faith isn't done yet. I know she's gonna have all ten. She, she only gonna, needs two right she now. Probably acting them all out. <laughs> she only needs but it's a two. good category. It, I mean, I mean, it's it's driving me nuts because I've seen the entire series. I've watched at least one of the movies, mm -hmm. but it's been a few years since I last watched any of these, and I just can't remember. I, I can picture them all, but I can't seem to remember the, the names. Okay, Boba Fett. Tony if you can sketch the characters, do we get points? <laughs> can I, I? I can't give you the the names of the actors who played them, huh? No, I want character names. You got to think about who was it about. Well, I remember like the Dowager, uh, which was in McGonagall, whose name I'm just drawing a blank on a real name, but Maggie Smith. Uh, Maggie Smith, yeah. And yet. When I told you I would accept some titles, I'm not seeing any titles written. Oh, down. just titles by themselves. The chef. The cook. I mean, oh, I that's say. not a title. That is. I mean, I could say dame because I know one of them was a dame in there, but uh, you know that's or lord. No, I but... was thinking more of the one that you just said. <laughs> the dowager. I, I I guess you're you're willing to take the dowager. I'll put the dowager in. Okay, the dowager's in. Because that, that's what she was. Oops. Is that a word, dowager? Yeah. Yes, it is. Dowager. Lord and Lady. Something to use the next time you do strange <clears throat> English words again. Do wager. Kevin's, <laughs> Kevin's on to something, so I'm going to leave you uh, and just listen to what Kevin is saying. What, what, I just said, saying? Lord and Lady douchebag. That's from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> that's a skit, a skit from Saturday Night Live. Come on now. She I, says I, you're no, on the roll, Kevin. Is you're no something pressure. similar to yeah, what he's Lord saying. Yeah, Lord and Lady Fauntleroy or something, you know? Yeah, stick stick to the douchebag because that, that's starting to hit something. The Earl of Sandwich. You remember that Saturday Night Live sketch where they introduced the people who what they just invented? And it was like the guy who invented knives, Wilkinson, Wilkinson chair or something like that, and the Earl of Sandwich. And then the guy comes out and he goes, Lord and Lady Douchebag. And then he has to explain his invention, invention to all the uh, all his friends. Don't remember that. Yeah, it was really funny. It was a early, early se season, early season, first year or second year. Buck Henry was the host. So it sounded like when she was making a comment, because we only had the one name up there, Edith, she was saying, well, it needs a title. That was my implication from what no. she said. Lady what Edith. Put Lady Edith. No, I, I think Edith, I think, will work, but I think this is what she's saying is what like, Maggie but Smith Lord, played the Dowager, so Lord, I, I can use that. And Lady Edith, Lord Archie. But when you said Lady and Lord Douchebag, it kind of triggered that 
the name of the Lord and Lady of the of the of okay, the manor. Well, who is it? You got two minutes. No pressure. Just write Lord and Lady, and then we'll just anything. I'm saying Danbury, but I think that's um, Bridgerton. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think they were actually Downtons, but I'm going to try it. Oh, they could be Downtons. Lord and Lady Downton? I don't think so, but I'm Mr. going Downton. with it. Mr. Well, yeah, Abby. Downton. Downton Abbey. Lady Abbey. Lady yeah. Abbey. Lord Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> now, when, is, when are you going to do a category on Luann? Still working one of those up. You should read the so you and I will be the only There's... ones who get it. How about it's Lady Lady Mar How about Lady Margaret? That's a common name in the press. Oh, Lady Lord. Marmalade. I was just thinking that same I thing. Said Margaret, I Lady that. Marmalade. What he said was Margaret, Margaret in the that. show, so that could work. Duke. Duke of Earl. Earl. <laughs> okay, we'll go with the Duke of the Duke Earl. Duke of Dorchester. Oh, there's always a Dorchester. You know who That's the Duke of Dorchester is? He's no. a professional mm. wrestler. He oh. used to be a professional wrestler. <laughs> He's got to be in downtown Abbey. Uh, Lady H Hunter Hirsch. Lady Elmsley. Elizabeth. There's always a Lady Elizabeth. Yeah, Lady, like Earl. Earl. <laughs> Lady. Lady that was Elizabeth. a good show while it lasted. It Lady was. Elizabeth. They never who's, who's not it. typing? No. Somebody type Lady Elizabeth. Lady Elizabeth. Hello. Who's got the screen? It's wrong. Who's sharing? Lady, Lady Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Lady Elizabeth. Five oh, seconds. Lady. How about any of the royal family? Lady in there? Sarah. Prince Charles. Lady Sarah. Do they all live in that house? Oh my God. Add Prince Albert in the can to our list. Wonder there's drama. Can you imagine a house that big? But well, it's open in the middle. There's like a plaza in the middle, right? Courthouse. Courtyard. Did you see a courthouse? So, no, so I think park. lots of people hate yeah, me. Yeah, there'd right be now. a courthouse in the middle. You could Court go like a whole year without it's seeing everybody category. that's there. Really? Because I have faith on my team. <laughs> but you couldn't go anywhere in that house with, with camera being around there. So you got no privacy. Hmm. Are uh -huh. we ready for some answers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we came up with some. <laughs> Good. Hopefully everyone can see my screen. Yeah. Awesome. So Downton Abbey, for those of you and many of you have not watched, is based on Lord and Lady Grantham, oh. Robert and Cora Crowley. <laughs> Cora. I thought their name is Downton. No, that's or the Abby name of the house. That's the I house. Their name was Abby, Cora. Lord and Lady Abbey. Cora was the mother, not Mary. Mary yeah. was one of the daughters. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. We just we put the name down. So if you had Lord and Lady Grantham, if you had Robert and Cora Crowley, anything like that, I don't think anyone did. Their three daughters were La Lady Mary, Lady Edith, and Lady Sybil. I've also included their married do need, names. Do I need the lady or is Edith good enough? We just did Edith, Mary, and Sybil. I will accept, even though in the rules I said I, I wanted a title if you didn't have a full name. Wow, but. look at the look at how they look. They're so like sepia or something, you know, mm -hmm. without color. They're just really pasty in the sunshine. Quick. And they're well, wearing clothes that are just nothing. You didn't specify which episode because she wasn't always. She was married. It to was somebody. in the first oh. three series. I know. But I'm talking that's about that's all she had Mary. to be to be a main character. But Lady Mary wasn't all oh, she had she had a couple of husbands. She had you guys are arguing about something and then we don't want to hear it. Go. If you just had Lady Mary, I would have accepted. I think I said Lady. Well, we'll see. Oh, there she is. We have Violet Crowley, the Dowager Countess. What do you mean? What is the weekend? So is that Dowager? is an infamous line from the show. What about what is it? a weekend? Because she never worked a day in her life. She didn't know what a weekend was. So is the dowager good enough? The dowager will be acceptable. 
because we're desperate for a point. Because yeah, we're exactly. desperate for some points, people. <laughs> what is a weekend? Oh wow, what a well, that's like like what is uh let them eat cake. She was royalty. She didn't know what a weekend was. I'm I'm actually then, kind of I'm kind of in that mode of being four years retired now. <laughs> we have Matthew Crowley and his mother, Isabel Gray, formerly Crowley, also known as Lady Merton. I don't think anybody got those. Oh, he's hot. I couldn't remember Isabel's name, but we got Matthew who's Crowley. Good. That counts. My favorite scene is when they, her and the Dowinger Countess are listening to a symphony and they make a bar talk joke. And that just made me so happy. They, they, they had the best banter. We have Lady Rosamond Painswick and Lady Rose Aldridge. I know somebody spoke of a Lady Rose. Not sure if they ever settled on throwing it on their list. We have Tom Branson, who started as a chauffeur and then married into the family. Tom Ooh, Branson. Yeah, also, Dr. Richard Clarkson, who married into the family. Hmm. Then yeah. we got to go downstairs to the staff. Everybody knows Carson. No. If you watch the know. show. Nope. And then there's Elsie Carson, Lee Hughes, and I will accept mm -hmm. Mrs. Hughes because that's how she was known for most of the show. We have John Bates and Anna Bates, also yes. downstairs staff who ended up getting married. They were referred to as Master Bates, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, horrible. horrible. Did we get credit for Mr. and Mrs. Bates? Yeah, I'll give you credit for Mr. and Mrs. Bates because you got Bates. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have O'Brien and Thomas Barrow, who is known sometimes as Thomas, sometimes as Barrow, depending on what year did this thinking. what year did this take place supposed to be? What is there? It's, it's, the very first one started in like 1914. 1912, the Titanic sank. 1912, that's right. Mm -hmm. When the Titanic sank. Yeah. These are the two assholes of the staff. They are? And, yes. and but fun show. Uh, Thomas was actually on Coronation Street. There you go. We have Mrs. Pat Moore and Daisy, who were in the kitchens. Daisy, that's right. Got We've Daisy. got Joseph Mosley and Phyllis Baxter. We have Alfred Nugent, Jimmy Kent, and Andy Parker. They were all servers. Ooh, that guy looks like Mr. Bean. <laughs> go back, go back, go back. I want to see Mr. Bean. He's Please. not Mr. Beanie. The guy on the right, doesn't he look like Mr. Beanie? Oh, a little yeah, bit. And Andy expression. Parker, he's just because he has hair. dark hair and British does not mean he's Mr. And Beanie. Matthew Damon on the left. <laughs> so that's it. How did we do? Let's get some what about What about Sybil's daughter, Mary Gold? Not a main character. They had a kid named Mary Gold? Marigold. 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 And that was, Marigold. I don't believe Marigold was Sybil's daughter. That was Edith's daughter. That was Edith's, Edith's daughter. daughter yeah. I mean, yeah. Sybil's daughter was little Sibby. Yes. Legitimate. How come everybody's white? There's no color in that. Um, Are you sure there wasn't? the aristocracy, you know, in Edwardian times. Uh, they were Kat, all black and white. You, you missed a couple. Um, There was uh, Lady Fussy Pants. <laughs> Uh, Lord Penis. <laughs> Lord Penis would be Thomas Barrow's alter ego, and Lady Fuzzy Pants would be O'Brien. <laughs> oh my God, those Brits! I tell you, to get a chance, to watch that people. link I put in there from Saturday Night Live about uh, the inventions back then. It's very funny. And you guys thought I was mean when I did a thing on Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is one of those you either know it or you know. You know mm -hmm. it or you don't. I did not know car names, really. Mm. Well, I was on a team with nobody who knows. Well, Ron. Hello, Ron, who's watched all of these. Yeah, but I'm senile. Oh, that's you weren't Lady Grantham. I was handing it to you on a plate there. Just we give me just some titles. Lord and Lady Downton. No. I, I knew no, that was wrong, Downton. but... That was funny. You know, I always loved that idea of houses having names right that's a really neat tradition mm -hmm. mine is called catnip corners 
I love. I know, which is why I couldn't call my studio that. Ours is called the Money Pit. Ours is called Papa's Mountain. We went to India in 1970 to visit my husband's family then, and we had always addressed things to him as near Dunlop Bridge, and I thought that was the address. There was some big thing. It was a big uh, sign in front of the in front of the expressway, Dunlop Bridge. That mm -hmm. was it. So the names didn't always have any yeah. great significance. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the idea of a house having a name. That's, that's what they have here. Name. In Thailand, that's what they do. Yeah. Our house is called Vila Carmel Cigar. does it too. The town of yeah. uh, Carmel, everything's named. They, yeah. they don't want to go to house numbers. All right, let's yeah. go over to our... And I am putting the answers in the chat. My system's just lagging. Okie dokie, artichokey. All right. So, wow, look, it was really tied, sort of. So, a monkey mm -hmm. holding a pager is called a baboon. Big baboon. fat goose egg. Nothing. Oh. And what do Alice, Jason, and Lillian Carter have in common? Uh, eight. Was it eight? Yeah. Janine eight. got eight. eight. All, all, all Janine. It was all Janine. Janine, Janine knows so her job. Maybe a record for pop culture related stuff for Janine. She was totally flying. It was, the, it was a lying. record. I had just watched it. Wait, huh? since when did Janine just, watch TV? I watched <laughs> Masterpiece Theater. I also watched, um, um, you know, about the veterinarian. I didn't even know Janine had a TV in that log cabin. Stuff. I didn't know she had a TV either, and I've been there several times. I've I didn't know she had electricity there. to run it. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> we also have hot and cold running water. Well, now oh, I knew that. Just is. in different rooms. <laughs> I have to run from one times. room to the other. Yeah. Okay, so now this one, should we just put a 10? Yes. Faith, Faith yeah. on it. All right, so the team. Thank you, Faith. Yes. And we also got a 10. In binary. <laughs> and the team that produced the, the so Cat was on our team and we got a great job, Cat. Ducks. We had two? How did we get two? Oh, we got we had Edith, Edith when I logged in. So yeah, we had Edith from the Dowager. Oh there you man. Go. Boy, we sucked. Look at this 10 to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Average of five, and that's pretty good. You oh, wanted a hard I category and you gave me one day notice. Like, what do you want from me? Did good. <laughs> it is a good category because I like stuff like that that's completely, you know, all over. You know, I, I don't want the same. It's it's hard to you know, you know what you don't when you're trying to guess. Yeah. Also, it's the average of four, not five. Because I couldn't it's remember five. Daisy's name to save my life. I just I couldn't remember a Daisy storyline. How is well, the average of the four? idea came to me Wait, in the middle many, of the night? There are four. There are five teams, right? Four. Oh, four, four teams. teams. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I lied. Over off the top of my head, I can only come up with eight names, and I'm like, "What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that?" And I'm like, "This is a good category." <laughs> like, what is Matthew's <laughs> mom's name? Like, what's her title? Right? It's Isabel. Of course, it's, it's Isabel. I need to get up what tomorrow at some point. Right? So, Thank good night, everybody. Good night, Abby. Good night, Abby. Rob, Rob, when is that program? It should be interview with. What? What's that? On Monday. You, when is your interview with uh, Forrest Biles? Okay. So it's not an interview. He's doing a presentation for recovering from religion on our weekly show. Oh, Ron, I'm when? calling you now. When I copied your no. your link, but I don't know when. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. It's it's Monday no. at eight p.m. Eastern time. And it'll be a, a chat like this. So the chat will be open and we, you know, people can talk to each other or they can propose questions so that the hosts, me and Kara, can ask, ask um, a forest after the presentation. And then after that's over, we have a hangout that sometimes goes for two, three, four hours where you can just talk live to, uh, you know, to each other and to the guest if they hang out. Cool. Yeah. And Coleman's on. I think I said two weeks, but he's two weeks after Forrest. So, and he's going to, he's going to, uh, it's kind of a combination for him. We're going to do an interview and it's going to be somewhat like what uh, Seth Andrews interviewed him about, which is his, uh, which is why I thought to invite him because he basically escaped a cult 
So, mm -hmm. you know, that's a, a great interest to the people in recovery from religion. So we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to go into his like science communication career. So, yeah. Cool. He was so cute when I interviewed him. He, he, I told him I was going to interview him and we arranged to have dinner together. And then at the end of the dinner, I said, okay, it's time to go out and find a place to interview you. And he says, oh, I thought I was hoping you would forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no. So out we went. And when I, when I finished, he went, oh, that was a lot easier than being interviewed by Seth Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, <laughs> we had a lot of fun. And, you know, he's so funny, right? I mean, he just kind of played it up and I didn't have to do much. So it was good. <laughs> I, th I think, are we still recording? We're still recording. Yeah. End the recording. Say goodbye. Okay. We're saying goodbye because we want to hear what it is that Rob has to say.